All right, guys, um, it is seconds away from our first challenge. So what I need you guys to do is make sure you're on Seesaw right now. And in a matter of seconds, uh, we are going to get started. Mr. Can you turn off these lights? Yeah, I think that's better. Yeah, we'll see. Okay, new ones. Okay. All right, so it, if you guys check your seesaw, in a matter of seconds, you should have your first challenge. I'm looking on seesaw right now, and challenge number one is up. Can everyone please go to seesaw, complete that challenge? So that challenge is... Uh, uh, team spirit and face paint challenge. So for this, what we're expecting you guys to do is to put on some face paint, go get some clothing from your team color. It's better with lights on, yeah. Go get some clothing from your team color and um, send a picture using Seesaw, all right? If you are by yourself and you're not able to make these intricate patterns, that is okay. Uh, you can just do some small dashes under your eyes or maybe a circle on your cheek or something. Use the Q-tips and the face paint that we have provided for you. All right. Um, when you're done that, don't forget to submit a picture using Seesaw as a response. All right. Everybody, Mr. Cool is going to be on the live feed, and I will leave this um, this open so you can chat to me if you need help. Okay, you can also listen to me on G chat. All right, if you guys are just joining us now, we have already started challenge number one. Challenge number one is a face painting and a team spirit challenge. So basically, if you go to Seesaw, you look at challenge number one. Um, watch the video from Mr. Reed. He does an amazing job of explaining what to do for this challenge. Once you've finished watching the video, you could submit your picture um, on Seesaw using ad responses. All right, looks like we have Mr. Cool joining us right now. So the two of us will be your announcers for the day. Hello, CDS, how are you? Um, we have some student questions already here in the chat. A lot of them from Dohun. Is Dohun able to join us today? Um, I, see, yeah. I see his messages here in the chat, but I'm not sure if he'll actually be able to join us. I hope he can. For those of you who don't know, jo Dohun is joining us from Canada. Um, right now, it is probably quite late in the evening for him, but that would be fantastic if he could participate. Yeah, that's better, I think. Let's see what comes up here. Yeah, we're just playing with the lighting here, just making sure we have everything ready for the whole day. Um, so if you guys look to the side right here, you can see the chart. This chart is going to represent all of the points for the day. So every time that the blue team, one person from the blue team submits an, uh, a challenge and completes that challenge, they will get one point and their chart will move up. So we'll be able to see which teams are doing well throughout the course of the day. We also have interviews for with different teachers all through. Oh, look at that. We already have some movement. Yellow team is in the lead. So, um, so if you guys, uh, yeah, maybe encourage them to try and use a different computer because it's the Chromebook. Um, if they don't have another computer, then, yeah, we're, they're going to try and lift the restrictions. Yeah. but. 
Oh, looks like we are back to even on this board. Um, maybe some teachers were just practicing, giving you guys points. It was just live practice when you were explaining how the points are going to go up. Oh, <laughs> that was just live practice to let you guys know what was going to happen. Um, but we are expecting submissions soon. Uh, once everyone gets their face paint on, their team spirit, and they send those pictures in, we will update you guys with the uh, results. All right, Mr. Cool, while we were waiting, I have yes. a couple jokes for you. All right. Um, what do you call a fish without an eye? A fish without an eye? Uh, I don't know. What do you call it? You call it a fish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. I apologize for that one, my friends. Um, uh, sure, I got another one. Um, why do fish live in salt water? Because pepper makes them sneeze. <laughs> oh. All right, I should probably stop telling jokes right now. Um, Mr. Cool? Yes. What did you have for breakfast today? This is uh, not a joke, by the way. I had cereal. Ooh, nice. What yes. kind of cereal? I had puffins and almond milk. Ooh, I like it. Yeah. I'm not sure what puffins are. Uh, Can you explain them to me? So they are uh, like cinnamon, sugar, like corn puffs. I like that. Yeah, it's pretty good. good. They're pretty good. I like to have a nice, healthy breakfast before we do our sports day. And uh, did you do anything else before, like a major sporting event? You used to play some sports back in the day, right? Yep. Um, do you do you do anything to prepare for something like this? Uh, always try and get a good night's sleep, okay. um, and then have a good breakfast, and then really try my best always. Nice. I do the same. Last night <laughs> I may have gotten ten hours of sleep, um, <laughs> but uh, I also like to drink a lot of water. That's that uh, yeah. keeps me hydrated. Yep. Keeps me focused. Yep. Water is also good um, if you're if you find yourself getting a headache or you know your mouth is parched. Those are all signs that you're a little dehydrated. So make sure you drink some water throughout the course of the day. All right, um, let's go back to some jokes. Let's see if I can find a good one here. Oh, these are all really bad. Um, ooh. Uh, Okay, Mr. Cool. Yes. How does a mouse feel after taking a shower? Mm, wonderful. I don't know. He feels squeaky clean. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, look at that. We've got some movement on the leaderboard. All right. Team Red and Team go. Green are tied. Oh, Red Team. Nice job. Are you partial to one of the teams? Uh, so I, I do um, work with the red team. So, uh, I've, of course, uh, they are near to my heart, but I've, I want everybody to do very well today. Myself as well. Once upon a time, way back in the day, oh, I was on the green team. And speaking of which, <laughs> the green team has just taken the lead. All right. We have some sports trivia as well. Now, while we're waiting for submissions, Mr. Cool and I are going to try and fill some of this time um, by just talking to each other. Um, so I'm going to ask him a few questions. Um, he might know this one. What is Canada's national sport? Uh, I'm guessing it's one of my f favorite, and I'm going to say hockey. The answer is lacrosse. Oh, Mr. Yeah. Hill was in the background trying to give hints <laughs> to the answer. Um, I probably would have said hockey to begin with. Uh, but okay. Uh, ooh, how many players on a baseball team? Ooh, ooh. I don't know the sport very well. I don't know if this is if this is only on the field at once or like the whole team. But anyways, what, what would be your so guess? so there are nine players on the field, mm -hmm. and then there's a lot of pitchers in the bullpen and coaches. So there, I think there's 52 actually 52 on a, on a baseball, on a pro baseball team. But the answer to this with no specifics is nine players. So yeah. I think you were initially right. Yeah. Um, oh, interesting. Before 19, before 1894, basketball games were played with what sort of ball? 
ping pong. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I would say like a softball or yeah. something like that. What is the answer? The answer is a soccer ball. There you have it, folks. Uh, we got a lot of movement on the board. Yellow team and green team are now tied. Um, we have blue team close behind and red team with an early start. But uh, yeah, now the, the other three teams have taken a bit of a lead. All right, coming up soon is uh, an interview with Mr. Hill. But before we do that, I wanna take this time to let you know about your bonus challenges. So all the bonus challenges for the whole day were sent out at 9.05. Now uh, that means at any point during the day, you can try and complete these challenges. If you have, but only complete them if you've already done your current challenge. So say right now you've already submitted your picture with your face paint, your team spirit, and you're sitting there with nothing to do for 10 minutes. Maybe you're getting a little tired of watching Mr. Cool and Mr. D talk. <laughs> so you can go do one of those bonus challenges. You don't have to do them if you don't want to, but if you complete them, you earn a bonus point for your team. All right. These bonus challenges are more structured towards sports and physical fitness, whereas these regular challenges, they're just for fun and just a great way for us all to kind of have fun together. All right. So um, in just a few minutes, we are going to interview Mr. Hill here. Uh, we're going to check to see if he is ready. And yeah. All right. Uh, but you guys, so far, you guys are doing a fantastic job. Once again, if you have any questions you'd like to be read on the air, we could read the questions and answer those questions for you. Or if you would like to be interviewed, just like Mr. Hill is about to be interviewed, you can send us or send Mr. Hill an email. Um, his email was sent to you on Seesaw this morning before any of the challenges began. Um, so you can take a look there. And oh, Mr. Bray has just added it to the bottom of our screen there. So send Mr. Hill an email at dhill at daltonschool.kr if you have a question you would like to be read on the air or if you would like to be interviewed. All right. Mr. Cool, is anyone <laughs> saying anything interesting on the YouTube chat? Uh, I like, um, Ms. Muhammad just said, yay, sports day. So thank you, Ms. Muhammad. It's going to be a great day. Uh, Dohoon is, is just Firing it up here with all of his comments. Thank you, Dalhoon. We we miss you, bud, and hopefully you have a safe trip back back to Korea very soon today. Is he is he going to be participating today? Uh, he's watching the videos, okay. but he is actually getting on a plane today. Wow! So we're can't wait to, to see, see Dalhoon. Yeah. Uh, he hello, Jay. He good to see you. <laughs> Glad you're joining us, sir. <laughs> wow, there's a. Mr. Baker, hello. Hey. Oh, happy Teacher's Day to you too, sir. Fantastic. Oh, looks like we have Mr. Hill here. Hello, Hi. Mr. Hill. How are you doing today? I'm doing great, Mr. T. Hi. Um, I have a couple questions for you here. Um, I heard through the grapevine that uh, there are a few things going on. What are teachers doing today? Do you have any information on behind the scenes stuff of what the teachers are doing? Uh, well, oh, well, they are working really hard to support Sports Day. Obviously, Mr. Cool and Mr. T are right there, and the teachers, they're in their homes, in their classrooms, all over the place, and uh, working super hard to make sure that everything goes smoothly today. So we need two main things to have a successful Sports Day, and that's the students to participate in all of the awesome challenges today, and we need the support of the teachers. So they're doing all kinds of behind the scenes type things like you were talking about before with all the points and that kind of stuff. They're tallying points, they're downloading student submissions on Seesaw, uh, cheering for their for their students and cheering for their teams. So they're supporting in all kinds of ways. Fantastic. Um, so I noticed before we had the chart with the points and the teams are going up and down. Uh, what are we gonna be doing with those points? Uh, well, the points are there to help motivate the kids and uh, to work together to collaborate as a team. And we're going to wait to see how many points are actually achieved by each team throughout the day, both in the challenges and in the bonus challenges. And then teachers, of course, uh, and that's me included, Mr. T, everybody, uh, we're going to be inspired by the participation of our kids. So all the energy and effort that our kids are putting into things are 
also going to be inspiring us and we might be doing our own little mini challenges as a result. So for example, if the water team gets 240 points, then you might see Mr. Hill ride a bike for 240 minutes. Uh, or a teacher might do 24 push-ups or jog for 20, uh, 240 meters or do a wall sit for 24 seconds or anything at all like that. So it's going to encourage creativity and participation, physical activity by the teachers. And we're excited about that. And some of them are going to be serious and some of them might be really silly. Like it might be do a silly dance for, for 240 seconds or for 24 seconds. 240 seconds dancing is pretty long. Uh, but the point is that the effort that the kids are going to put in today is going to inspire the teachers. That sounds absolutely amazing. Um, yeah, 240 minute bike ride. I'm excited to see that one play out. Four hours. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I didn't do my math properly on that, but that'll be a heck of a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Mr. Hill, for that information. Thank you for joining us. Um, I'm very excited to get back and look at some of the student uh, submissions now, but we will be hearing from you later on this afternoon. Is that correct? Uh, yes, I'll be back at the end of the day. So thank you so much to all the kids who are, who are already participating. And thank you so much, Mr. T, for organizing all of this. Excellent. Well, thank you for joining us. And uh, we will talk to you later. Once again, my friends, if you would like to be interviewed just like Mr. Hill was interviewed, send him an email um, at uh, dhill at daltonschool.kr. And we will try to make that happen. Um, right now, it looks like we have the green team in the lead. Um, very neat symmetrical graph we have yeah. going here. Um, but yeah, we're hoping to show some of the student submissions soon. So, oh, that might be happening soon. Um, but before then, um, Mr. Cool and I are going to continue on with our sports trivia. Right. Um, all right, let's see here. The next question I have for you. Um, what team gets the advantage of first bat in baseball? The away team. The away team? The correct answer is the visiting team, the away team. Well done. You know way more about baseball than I do. Uh, let's see here. Um, Mr. Teak, I have a few uh, fun facts of trivia here if you'd like. Okay, bring them on. Okay. Did you know that a shrimp's heart is in its head? <laughs> I had no idea. No, oh, me. Yeah. Did, did you know it is impossible to lick your own elbow? That seems. Well, I can't do it in a suit, well, especially. Yeah, yeah. But I bet you, if I, we were, if, if I were wearing a suit right now, I could lick my <laughs> elbow. Um, did you know that a crocodile can't stick out its tongue? I had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my friends, um, it looks like we are going to be rolling some pictures now. These will be some of the fantastic submissions that you guys have sent in. Uh, so let's take a look at those. In just a second. <laughs> I can't wait to see these face paint. Uh, yeah, I'm really excited to see them too. Yeah. Um, so we're looking for face paint. Yep. Yeah. All right. We're bringing them on now. So let's see these images. Um, coming up soon. <laughs> Here we go. All right. Whoa, look at that from Asher. That is amazing. Nice, Asher, that's incredible. Go red team. Yeah. <laughs> All right, song. very nice, sir. Whoa, that is awesome. Nicely done, Jenny. Oh, great job, Jenny. Oh, yeah, so me. So me. Look at all that green team. Not only on her face, that's hand paint, too. Oh, it's so, so great to see so many students. Yes, sir. So me. Oh, you you have the you have the YouTube link, so yours is a little delayed. So uh, this is the this is yeah. Okay. Yes, very nice. You guys, these look absolutely amazing. 
as we're showing you these pictures, we are getting ready for challenge number two. Challenge number two will go out in a little less than a minute. So if you guys are watching this, fantastic, but just be ready. In a little less than a minute, you are going to be able to see your challenge number two on Seesaw. Nice, is that Miss Kim? Fantastic. Hey, there you go. <laughs> Green team and red team. Oh, that's us. Nice. All right, guys, those are fantastic. You keep sending in those images, those uh, submissions, and we will continue to put them on the air like this. But I believe it is almost time for challenge number two. So if you guys go to Seesaw right now, challenge number two should be coming any second. The bonus challenges are already up. You guys should have bonus challenge one, two, three, four, five, and six. Remember, you do not have to do those bonus challenges right now. Only complete those bonus challenges if you've already done the other challenges, all right? Um, but challenge number two is not up yet, but just be ready. Challenge number two will incorporate um, the balloons that we have shared with you. So I don't wanna give too much away because I want you guys to watch the video. Um, but yes, uh, currently green team is in the lead, yellow team just slightly behind. And is that red and blue team tied? Oh, the blue oh, team blue is team just is a hair of red of the, ahead of the red team. Remember, if you guys have missed these challenges or if you haven't had time, you do not have to complete them by 920. You can go back and complete them later. All right, let's see here. I am on Seesaw right now. I'm checking it out and it looks like your sports day challenge number two is up. Take a look at it um, and watch the video and then complete the challenge to earn one point for your team. I love these submissions. On the, on the bottom we have Jay He saying, I forgot what he said, <laughs> maybe go red team. I can't really see perfectly right now. But you guys, this is fantastic. Thank you for participating and thank you for joining us. Once again, if you're just joining us now, this is Sports Day. So we're doing the live feed here where we're going to update your points and we are also going to share some of your submissions. And then on Seesaw, every 20 minutes, you will get a new challenge. If you complete that challenge and you are looking for something to do, maybe it's a good time for you to do one of those bonus challenges that was sent out at 9.05. Those bonus challenges are optional. You do not have to do them, but if you choose to do them, then you, and you complete them, then you earn one bonus point for your team. I will be back in just one second. All right. There's a lot of really great stuff going on in the chat. I love seeing all the activity. All right, Jay He, red team. I can't wait to see your submissions, bud. Hara, keep going, man. Go green team. Okay. Really great stuff here. <clears throat> All right. A few more fun facts. Did you know that almonds are a member of the peach family? <laughs> All right, I'm back. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. What has he been telling you? Uh, <laughs> a lot of great, lot of great people talking on, on our chat here. Oh yeah, what are they saying? Uh, yes, Jay, you can do your challenge now. If you've if you've done with uh, challenge number two, you can do the um, the bonus bonus challenge. challenge. Yeah. Now remember. There is, for a lot of these regular challenges, there's a bonus point available if you get the highest score in your grade. So if you complete the challenge, say the balloon bouncing challenge right now, um, this is a perfect example. If you complete it and you get a score of 10, great, you can submit that video or you could try again. And if you are the one that has the highest score in your grade, then you get a bonus point for your color team, all right? So yeah, there are many, many options 
today. You can watch this live feed as well, or um, if you are unable to view it, or if you want to go back and watch some of it again, you can watch it tomorrow or later, and it just won't be a live feed, but you can scroll through it on YouTube. We're not going to publish this link, so you can't search for CDS Sports Day, but if you remember this link, you can use that link. All right. We want to keep this as private as possible within our community because um, we are sharing pictures of you guys and we want to make sure that, uh, yeah, we keep that private. Go yellow team. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so pretty soon we're going to have some submissions that we can share with you. But also we have another interview coming up. Don't forget, if you guys would like to be interviewed, then please send an email to Mr. Hill. All right, more sports trivia here for uh, for Mr. Cool. Let's see if he knows All right. any of these. Um, oh, I don't know why there's so many baseball questions, but we're going to go with another one. Okay. How many total of minutes of action, oh, I think that's the keyword, are there in an average baseball game? Total minutes of action. Action. So I'm guessing this is like actual game. Well, time. they normally are – Three hours, <laughs> so that'd be a what? One hundred eighty minutes. But action. but action. Well, there's a lot of just standing around in baseball. I'm gonna say forty minutes. I am going to say half of whatever you were gonna say. So I will say twenty minutes. The answer is eighteen minutes. Wow, that is crazy. Wow, that's a lot of standing around in that game. Wow. Okay. Um, ooh, what country has complete, uh, competed the most times in the Summer Olympics without winning a gold medal? Which team has competed the most without what, winning? Which country, country without winning a gold medal? This is interesting. I don't ooh. know. Um, Mexico. Ooh, yeah. I was going to go Scandinavian country. Uh, I'd say like uh, Norway, I'm sure, has won a, a medal, a gold medal. The Philippines, very mm. close to us. Yep. Don't worry, Philippines. Your gold medal's coming. Ooh, a follow-up question. What country has competed the most times in the Summer Olympics without winning any medal at all? Mm. I feel bad just guessing answers for this. Let's just let's just mm. tell the answer. Yeah. The answer is Liechtenstein. Wow. Okay. I would have never guessed that. I would that. not have guessed that either. All right, so coming up here in just a couple minutes is we have a special interview. This interview is with the Phoenix. So um, I'm very excited. I, I don't know what to expect. It's always strange, uh, surprising um, interviewing the Phoenix. But yeah, this will be very, very interesting. <laughs> um, <laughs> It's very difficult to explain to you what we're seeing right now, but um, we promise you it's funny. <laughs> okay. Um, does the Phoenix, is the Phoenix aware that the interview does not take place in this room? <laughs> does, does the Phoenix want the interview to take place in this room? <laughs> Updating the scores, it looks like the green team is still in the lead, but the red team has surpassed the blue team. Um, so first place, we got the green team. Second place, yellow. Third place, now red. And fourth place, blue. All so right. there's still a lot of day left to happen, a lot of challenges to be completed. So yes, I'm very excited to see this. All right, in one minute's time, we have the Phoenix coming up. Um, but before then, if you've already completed your challenge number two, the balloon bouncing challenge, you can go back and try it again, or you can try one of the bonus challenges, or you can sit here and just be amused by our <laughs> entertainment. <laughs> we apologize for that, by the way. Yeah, <laughs> it's really fun here. <laughs> oh, it's very close between the red team and the blue team. I'm excited to see how this plays out. All right. I'm to answer these questions. Oh, yes. We got some questions here. Um, can Jay asked, can he skip some? Um, if you're talking about the bonus 
Um, challenges, yes, you can skip the bonus challenges. If you're talking about the regular challenges, no, we would like you to participate in all of the regular challenges if possible. If you guys aren't able to complete them for, so, for whatever reason, maybe you're struggling to blow up that balloon, you can ask mom or dad or brother, older brother or sister to help you out with that. If you're struggling uh, to get the face paint on or something, maybe just put a quick line here and there or ask mom or dad or older brother to help you. Um, maybe if you can't do that now, maybe you can wait a couple hours and complete those challenges later when you do have assistance from someone. All right, my friends, I think we are ready for a meeting with the Phoenix. I'm very excited for this one. Um, ready? All right. <clears throat> So we have some quite oh hello Phoenix, how are you doing? <laughs> nice moves. Um, that is amazing. So we got some questions for you, Phoenix. Uh, what is your favorite food? What is your favorite food? Okay, um, I do realize you cannot answer this question. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just yell out some possibilities and you give us a big yes or a big no. All right. <laughs> Okay, um, is your favorite food pizza? <laughs> is your favorite food kimchi? Oh, is <laughs> your favorite food worms? <laughs> yes, it is worms. I can do it. Fantastic. We know a little bit more about Phoenix now, don't we? All right, question number two. Uh, what is your favorite sport? Ooh, this is a good one. Is it soccer? Mm, I, <laughs> is that is that a yes? <laughs> yes. All right. <laughs> All right. Next question. What is your favorite color? Ooh, I know this one. I know this one. It's green, isn't it? <laughs> Oh. Is it red? <laughs> now, Phoenix, is it possible that you have two favorite colors? <laughs> Maybe I'm going to wager a guess silver and pink. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> uh, gold and black. Well, are we getting close though? <laughs> How about yellow and blue? Hey! All right, we got one more, two more questions for you. What is your favorite type of music? Uh, oh, I'm gonna guess hip hop. Uh, rock and roll. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> um, since rock and roll is your favorite music, I'm going to request that you dance to that rock and roll music for the next five seconds. <laughs> All right, our final question for the Phoenix is, what is your favorite yoga pose? Um, now we're not gonna guess, I just wanna see it in action. What is your favorite yoga pose? <laughs> All right, that is absolutely amazing. Thank you so much, Phoenix. Um, I don't want to end this interview right now, but we do have some videos to go check out. So thank you so much for joining us. Goodbye, our friends. Thanks, Phoenix. Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my friends. So hopefully we're going to be able to share some of your balloon bouncing videos with you now. Um, but until then, let's take a look at the results. Green Team is still in the lead. Still lots of time left, though. Wow, look at that. I think red and blue team have made up some ground on the yellow team, though. They are, uh, they're, yeah, they're putting in a great effort. So thank you to everyone who's working so hard. This is amazing. We already have, I think, 40, is that 46 submissions from the green team? Wow. Wow, that's incredible. Thank you so much, guys. That means a lot of bonus challenges are probably being done by the green team. Well done, my friends. Perhaps I should have given you more than six bonus challenges. <laughs> Miss yeah. Muhammad says Phoenix needs some <laughs> yoga classes. That's on him. Um, perhaps Mr. Cool could do some private yoga classes for the Phoenix. <laughs> sure. All right. A lot of great sportsmanship. I see everybody cheering on other teams. Great job, everybody.
All right. While we're waiting for some videos, I'm going to ask Mr. Cool one more sports trivia question. All right. Um, ooh, what is the only team in the NFL, that's the football league in America, the only team in the NFL to neither host nor play in the Super Bowl? Uh, <laughs> Tampa Bay won. Yep. At one point. Houston? Ooh. Yeah, that could be it. It's surprising that Houston wouldn't have hosted one. Oh, the Oilers won one, though. Oh, okay. Yeah. That was maybe, maybe there's being specific with the Texans. Yeah. Well, I know my personal team, the Detroit Lions, have never gone to a Super Bowl. <laughs> But they have hosted a few Ooh. in Detroit. Um, okay, my guess would be have the Jaguars won. I think they've gone to one, haven't they? Mm. Well, let's see. Let's yeah. see. Maybe, maybe the maybe. answer is the Cleveland Browns. How did we not get that? <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. We're going to see if some videos are ready now. Um, <laughs> Okay, uh, the videos are not ready yet, so we are going to continue with some sports trivia. Um, ooh, which basketball player was Michael Jordan nicknamed after as a young high school basketball enthusiast? It's got to be old. I... It's got to be Dr. J, right, for Jordan? Yeah, got to be. I don't, I don't know. The answer is Magic. Oh, Magic. Magic Johnson? Was playing when Jordan was in high school? Yeah. What was he nicknamed after as a young high school basketball enthusiast? Huh. <laughs> I didn't think Magic Johnson was that much older than Michael Jordan. There you go. Um, okay. Who was the youngest player to reach 10,000 points in regular season in the 20th, in 20th century NBA? One more time. Who was the youngest basketball player to reach 10,000 points in the regular season in the 20th century NBA? LeBron James. LeBron James? That's a good guess. The youngest player. Who would be younger than LeBron James? Kobe Bryant, maybe? Let's see. The answer is... Ha! Kobe. Kobe. He came out of high school. Well, so did LeBron James. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Kobe played in Europe. Oh, that's right. All right. Let's see here. Um, all right, so it looks like we have a video ready from Nana uh, from the Balloon Bouncing. Um, so we are about to take a look at that right now. Um, so Nana, I guess everyone submitted videos. These are taking a few minutes to download, um, but we're doing our best. So we'll try and get those out as quickly as possible. So here is Nana's video. Oh, <laughs> video inside of video inside of video. All right. Oh, this is a team spirit one. Very nice. I like it. Some more videos here. <laughs> all right oh this is a bonus video yeah. we have one of our first bonus video submissions all right oh my goodness is that 40 jumping jacks we're about to witness that is amazing so if you guys want to do your bonus videos to get some bonus points for your teams this is how you do it Look at all those jumping jacks. Oh my goodness. Wow. All right, so we're having some technical difficulties here, trying to download all these amazing new videos, but we are doing our best and we're getting them out to you as quickly as we possibly can. Um, we have two more minutes until the next challenge. I'm very excited for this one. The next challenge, I don't want to give it away, but it does involve the cups. 
Um, Miss Drews and myself did the video for the next challenge. So I'm very excited to see that one. Um, but yeah, why don't we go back to some more uh, trivia questions? These are all about basketball. Maybe the first one was all about baseball and Olympics. Ooh, this is for you. Okay. In 1977, the first ever U.S. Open for gold was held in what country? Uh, nice burpees, my friend. Oh, great job. I don't even know what this means. U.S. Open for gold. Yeah, does that mean it's in the Olympics? I'm trying to think, is it golf or is it tennis? Oh, good point. I what, assumed it was golf. What goal was held in what country? 19. Uh, let's just look yeah, at the answer. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> Tulsa. Oh, 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 oh. I'm, that's there, not a, there you okay. go. That was a terrible <laughs> trivia question. I apologize, my friends. We are looking at some burpees. <laughs> Fantastic job, guys. We wow. are going to continue to download videos and continue to share them with you. Um, but now it is time for you guys to go to Seesaw. Um, on Seesaw, you should have challenge number three coming up any second. And it's up there. All right, guys, go on Seesaw. Look at challenge number three. Um, this one is using the cups. All right, we're excited to see the submissions for that. If we're looking at the scores, whoa, it looks like the, the yellow, red, and blue team are slowly catching up to the green team. Amazing job, my friends. I'm so impressed. The green team's almost at 80 points already. Am I reading this correct? Whoa. That is unbelievable. Oh, no. They're almost at 60 points. They are at 60 points. 61 points for the green team. Oh, my goodness. Yellow team, 45. Blue team, 28. Red team, 37. You guys, this is wow. unbelievable. Well done, my friends. Let's try and figure this out. So there are... 21 students on each team. You guys have only had two challenges so far, so that's a possible 42 points. That means the green team has already at 42 points. They have 63. 21 of the bonus challenges for the green team has already been completed. Wow. That is unbelievable. Wow. Excellent job, Yejin. You finished the all the bonus videos? What? <laughs> I'm going to guess you're on the green team. Still a lot of teams, so though. So like, like, much yep. time. All right. Um, so in nine minutes' time, we are going to have an interview with me. Very excited for that one. Until then, we are going to be trying to share some of the videos with you. And Mr. Cool and myself are going to try and continue to talk. <laughs> <laughs> well, how about some more fun facts? Fun facts it is. I wanna, I wanna learn today. <laughs> Did you know that an ostrich's eye is bigger than its brain? How big is their eye? Or how small is their brain? <laughs> right, <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm very curious. I want to see a picture of an ostrich right now. All right. What animal has the largest eye in the world? Not the ostrich. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> or brain. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think they're very delicious, actually. Delicious eyes? No, this animal. Okay. Um, cow? Nope. Squid. Squid. There you go. Let's go red team. I love how Jay, he continues to yeah. submit messages on YouTube. That is amazing. All right, give me some more. Okay. How long does it take most people to fall asleep? Um, for me, I, <laughs> okay. Uh, most people, I'm going to say 31 minutes. The average is seven minutes. What? <sighs> That's uh, very impressive. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I mean, my guess was, was a little off on that one. Did you know that tigers have striped skin, not just striped fur? Whoa. So, like, the fur on the outside is potentially, is it also striped? Yeah. Oh, cool. So, everything's striped. Neat. So, if yeah. you shave a tiger, it is still striped. Whoa. Yeah. Interesting. I don't think I want to get that close. Yeah, don't, don't attempt this at home. <laughs> but uh, just, just a fun fact, you know. <laughs> 
Maybe Joe Exotic might. <laughs> yeah, I, I still have yet to, I, I don't even know what you're talking about. Okay. <laughs> uh, ooh, how many championships did the Chicago Bulls win with Michael Jordan on their team? Six? That would have been my guess. I haven't seen the documentary. Have yep. you seen it? So the answer is six. Yes. Yep. Three, and then a year and a half off to play baseball, and then another three more. Ooh, between the Williams sisters, who has more Grand Slam titles, Venus or Serena? I don't know why I just did a baseball <laughs> swing there. I know <laughs> they play tennis. I just forgot how to play tennis. So Venus is amazing, and she's won a lot of – uh, tournaments and they both won a lot of doubles together, but Serena has definitely won more. Majors. Serena, yeah, um, I'll trust you. Serena, it is. Yeah, she's the greatest. All right. Ah, this country is known for producing the most Formula One World Championship winning racers. What country is it? I think it's Ferrari, so I'm gonna go with Italy. That's a very good guess. Oh, oh the UK. Hmm. Oh, there you go. And oh, the next question, how many winning racers did the UK produce? I know nothing about this sport, by the way. I don't know. <laughs> 74. 74, wow. No, 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 that's a, that's oh, a guess. Okay. I have no idea. The answer is 10. <laughs> that was a little off. <laughs> All right. Um, so in five minutes, we have an interview with Miss Barr. But until then, um, we are working on downloading more videos. I will be back. I'll go check in on that. Mr. Cool might tell you some more fun things. All right. Well, let's check in and see what everybody's saying on the feed. All right. Jay He, human. Yes. I believe that you are a human. Yes. Miss Pabone, go yellow team. Absolutely. Yunsung, great job doing the bonus. Sanu, woohoo! I'll keep up the great work, everybody. This is really, really great. It's so nice to see everybody working. I, I know I've just missed you guys so much. It's been so long since we've done this. It's great to see all the different classes. All right. Did you, you know a shark is the only known fish that can blink both of its eyes? Huh. There you go. Um, it looks like we've got some videos ready to show you guys. So we are going to attempt to show you them now. We're going to try full screen. I'm not sure if it's going to work. Um, but here we go. <laughs> um, let's update you on the points while we're doing that. Um, the green team, 70 Seven. points. Boom. The yellow team has 57.5 points. I'm not sure how that happened, but awesome. Um, third place, the red team with 45 points. And fourth place, the blue team with 40 points. You guys are doing a fantastic job. Keep it up. I am super impressed. Now that we're, um, we've got the wider screen here, you guys can see our full studio. We are in, what do we call this room? This is the, not the conference room. This is the show room. Show room. Um, um, the, we are in a room. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> So yeah, you guys are doing me. Oh, green team now has 71 points. Blue team now has 41 points. You guys are doing an amazing job. Keep it up, my friends. All right, we are having some more technical difficulties, but we are working through it. So I have uh, another joke for you guys. Um, what is a cheetah's favorite food? Did you just look at the answer? Nope. <laughs> nope. I was going to say Cheetos. Oh, that's a good one. But the true answer, or there is no true answer. But, um, the joke answer is fast food. Oh, because <laughs> oh, Cheetos are fast. I get it. <laughs> okay. Um, what does a cat say when someone steps on its tail? Mm, ouch. Ah, me, ow. 
Because <laughs> it's a cat. Yeah, that was awful. I apologize for that I one. I get it. All right, looks like we have some videos here. Let's take a look at them. Ooh, I like it. We are in the small screen, and this is a beautiful mountain dune. Dune mountain? Sand dune. Sand dune. <laughs> I should stop talking. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> oh, here we go. All right. Vivian, yes, well done. Look at that. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I assume this is another one of the bonus challenges, scoring bonus points for the green team. Amazing job. Irene, I did two bonus and two challenges. Great job, Irene. Nice. All right, guys, in one minute time, we are going to interview Miss Barr. So perhaps after Chris finishes this balloon challenge, we are going to interview Miss Barr. Excellent job. Nicely done, Chris. Good job keeping your feet on the ground, not moving it around. Remember, guys, if you complete the challenge and you want to try again to get more points, please feel free to do so. All right, guys, we are going to be interviewing Miss Barr right now. Um, so here we go. Hello, Ms. Barr. How are you doing? I'm great. How are you? We are very good. Um, how is sports day going for the grade twos? Well, they are loving it. They're really excited. I think they're really happy and everything is going great. Um, yeah. That's great. Uh, which challenge are your students most excited for, do you think? Uh, well, I didn't quite tell my students what challenges are which, but when we opened the bag this morning, they were really excited to find balloons. So maybe they were excited about the balloon challenge. Um, a lot of my students did the cup challenge too, so yeah. Nice. Without giving anything away, which challenges are you most excited about? So I am really excited about one that's coming up and okay. I can't give that away, but it has to do with a bottle and some water. Nice. <laughs> um, all right. Are there any motivational words you have to kind of cheer on the FP students as they're going through this process? Well, you are all amazing. You've done a great job so far and I hope we have fun and really enjoy support today. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Ms. Barr. Thank you. Uh, thank, yeah. you for having thank you for me. all the hard work behind the scenes, taking care of all the videos and doing all the points and everything. So thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. All right. Excellent job. So in about eight more minutes, we have another challenge coming up. But before then, we're going to continue to look at more videos um, that the students have submitted. We're going to just continuously show you guys all the amazing stuff that you guys are doing. So yeah, I'm really excited for that. Um, all right. While we are waiting for that, I'm going to go with some more jokes. What do you call a baby bear with no teeth? Uh, a, a teddy bear. Ah, uh, close. A gummy bear. Uh. <laughs> no teeth. Gum. Get it? <laughs> um, what do you call a cow in a tornado? Uh, a, a windy cow? A milkshake. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I am running out of awful jokes here. Uh, but it looks like we've got some videos to watch. Let's take a look at these. Nicely done. Well done, well done, well done. Oh, excellent job, Olivia. <laughs> uh, doing a great job staying in place too. Well, awesome. Yeah, so this is a really interesting challenge. So the pre-Ks and Ks, they can stand on their feet and they can move around as much as they want to get those contacts. The grade ones and twos, they can stay on their feet, but their feet have to be glued to the ground. And the grade threes and fours, they must be sitting on the ground to complete this challenge. Excellent job, Gia. Well done. Curious to see your brother's video. We look like twins. Oh, thanks, Irene. 
Do you hear that? You look yeah. like twins. <laughs> I, got, I got to grow my beard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, Phil. Nicely done, sir. All right, Phil. Go yellow. Go yellow. Nice, Amelia. All wow, right. look at Phil go. All right. I love that oh. hat. 137 balloon touches for Daddy? That is unbelievable. Wow. Third graders, you're going to be hard pressed to beat that number. I believe yellow team is getting a bonus point for that effort. Look at that. Well done, Hannah. Nice job, Hannah. <laughs> this is absolutely amazing. Can I drink the water? <laughs> yes, Uchi, you can drink the water. Don't drink all of it, but actually, if you want to drink all of it, that's okay. You can refill it. Yeah. <laughs> Good idea, Uju, to stay to stay hydrated. Stay hydrated. <laughs> well done, well done. 137 contacts. That is way more than I thought anyone would be able to do. Yeah, that's I, I can't do that. Was it 137 or 127? <laughs> Absolutely, Mr. Hill. Oh, Mr. Hill, you're on. <laughs> wow, great job, would you? Really great school spirit. Nice. Well done. <laughs> Way to keep it up. Well done. I love the uh, the map in the background as well. You guys are doing such an amazing job. Wow. We have the green team with almost 100 points already. Yellow team, 75. Red team, 54. Blue team, 52. Amazing job, my friends. All right. To keep things interesting, we'll do a little more fun facts. All right, guys. In oh, three minutes' okay. time, next time we have our next challenge. You guys doing are doing amazing. Check out all these amazing submissions. I'm excited to see this one. All right. How many can Eunice get? Well done, Eunice. She's gone. We lost her. Oh, there she oh. is. <laughs> well done. We lost her again. Hey, well done, Eunice. Nice. Look at you go. Guys, this is absolutely amazing. I'm not sure if they're expecting us to be chanting these. Who are we? CDSFP. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to say you guys can chant those at Absolutely. Home. This is so incredible. All right. So just to remind you guys in... About one and a half minutes, you're going to get your next challenge. Challenge number four is probably my favorite challenge of the day. Um, oh, so we got some cheering from Miss Muhammad. My favorite challenge of the day, it involves a balloon and it involves all of your cups. All right, so be ready for that. Excellent job, well done, well done. Go red team, go. Yeah, sure. <laughs> 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 
All right, so I'm going to go over to our seesaw and update because in, I think, one minute's time, it should be coming up, your next challenge. So congratulations to all those friends who have already completed the first three challenges. Um, once again, if you have any questions you'd like to put on the air or answer it on the air, you can use the YouTube um, chat or you can send Mr. Hill an email at dhill at daltonschool.kr. If you would like to be interviewed, like we've already interviewed Ms. Barr, Mr. Hill, and the Phoenix, then send him that email and say, I would like to be interviewed. And we will do our best to make that happen. You're going to have to check your email because if we're going to interview you, we, Mr. Hill will send you the link that you have to use in order to be interviewed on this program, okay? So I'm curious to see if we have anyone with any questions or wanting to be interviewed. All right, guys, uh, before we do that, challenge number four is almost up. <laughs> I'm going to refresh my seesaw again because it should be up any second now. Um, but while we're waiting for that, yes, if you have any questions or would like to be interviewed, send Mr. Hill that email. Mr. Hill, can you hear me? Has anyone sent you any emails yet? Uh, yeah. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Most of them have been questions, so we're going to get those questions soon. Um, hopefully, we'll interview. It would be so much fun to interview a student right now. Challenge number four is up. Go check your seesaw and complete that <laughs> challenge. <laughs> Um, so this one is the air balloon challenge. I absolutely love it. What you do is you take all 10 of your cups, you put them at the end of the table on yourself, inflating the balloon and using that air from the balloon to knock over the cups. Whoever has the fastest time will earn a bonus point for their color team. Should be a lot of fun. All right. Oops. Uh, Mr. Cool, do we have any more fun facts? Absolutely. All right, lay them on me. All right. Did you know it is physically impossible for pigs to look up into the sky? <laughs> really? Yeah. So how do they see airplanes? They don't. How do they see when it rains? Uh, I guess they just feel it. How do they see the stars? I know, right? Well, that's awful. Mm. Hmm. What else do you got for me? Wearing headphones for just an hour could increase the bacteria in your ear by 700 times. <laughs> oh, we were out of headphones too. I should wash my headphones. Yeah, we were actually debating wearing headphones today so we could get like information passed on. I'm very glad we opted not to. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> Anything else? Uh, did you know some lipstick can contain fish scales? So, so like, you're, okay. yeah, huh. yeah, huh. huh? Well, there you have it. Interesting. And one more: rubber bands last longer when they're refrigerated. Hmm. You know what? I've never had a concern for my rubber bands <laughs> not lasting long enough. Sometimes they do snap me when they break. It hurts. A lot. Okay, to be fair. Yeah. Yeah, but. <laughs> I, I, okay <laughs> there you go all right my friends um we have you guys are working on challenge number four right now the air balloon challenge um if you guys have completed your challenge then be sure to send in your video and we will continue sharing videos in seven minutes time we have an interview with mr Baker. He is no longer an FP teacher, but he is forever in our hearts. And he is going to join us. Um, we have no idea what he wants to talk about. So I'm very excited for this interview. All of the other interviews, they've communicated with us and let us know what they'd like to talk about. Mr. Baker has not. <laughs> so he is going to be freestyling this. So I'm very excited to see what comes of that. Um, oh, Muhammad and Yesong. Great job on the bonus challenges. 
We are going to take a look at some more videos soon, I think. Perhaps these are videos from the last challenges, perhaps they're videos from the new challenges. Ooh, Julian, excellent job doing the bonus challenges. Great job so far. Oh, Francis, I like this. Well done. All right, while we're waiting for our next videos, I've got some more jokes for you. Yes. <clears throat> yes. What do you call an exploding monkey? Hmm. <laughs> this is so bad. I'm sorry for this one. Uh, an orangutan. Ba-boom! <laughs> <laughs> Um, all right, this, is, this isn't really a joke that you answer, but uh, I'll just tell you the joke anyways. Uh, so a team of little animals and a team of big animals decided to play football. During the first half of the game, the big animals were winning. But during the second half, the centipede scored so many touchdowns that the little animals won the game. When the game was over, the chipmunk asked the centipede, where were you during the first half? The centipede replied, I was putting on my shoes. <laughs> Uh, get it? Because like a hundred people. <laughs> All right. I think it's time for me to stop telling jokes. All right. Um, go red team. Yes, Francis. Thank you for joining along. Excellent job. I have more trivia if you okay. like. Okay. We don't have any more videos just yet, but they are coming. Bring on the trivia. All right. What country has the most reptiles? Hmm. Australia. Yep. Yes. Yep. All right. I'm mm. one for one. Let's see if I can keep the streak going. <laughs> All right. Let's look at the uh, the total so far. Whoa! Blue team has retaken Whoa. third place. Excellent job, blue team. You're up to 78 points. Yellow team. Wow. 94.5 points. Yellow team. Amazing job with 67 points. Yellow team. 122. Is that even possible right now? Green team. Let's see. Let's work out this math. So we've done four challenges, 21 students. That's 84 possible points. 21 students with six bonuses. So that's another 120 possible points. What was the first total? 84. 84. So that's a, out of a possible 200 points, you guys have 120. That is amazing. Wow. That means so many of you have completed so many of your bonus challenges. Mm -hmm. Nice job, everybody. Well done. Great job. anymore uh that means that you guys probably have a lot of bonus challenges left to do that means you got a lot of room to catch up do not worry my friends all right lay some more trivia on me all please. right what two vegetables are actually fruits <gasps> two what is um uh, does tomato count mm -hmm. okay tomato and cucumber that's a that's a good try um, it's actually the one that makes guacamole. Ah, avocado. Avocado. One of my favorite. Think? Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Hill has a joke for us, it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> More jokes, Mr. T. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know if I have any more. I may have uh, exhausted all of my resources. Um, let's see if there are any more in this. Um, the grade ones may have already heard all these jokes because uh, we went through them at recess one time. But uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Where did the sheep go on vacation? The bathroom. Oh, close. The Bahamas. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Um, do we? Do I still have to? Okay. I'll tell one more joke. What goes TikTok? Bow wow. TikTok. Bow wow. Uh, a dog with a clock. Very close. A watchdog. <laughs> <sighs> okay, one more dog joke. Um, how does a dog stop a video? With its paws. Oh, the pause button. Nicely done. That was a good one. <laughs> okay. Um, it. We are two minutes away from our interview with Mr. Baker. Uh, do we have any videos ready to show until then? Okay, we're going to show one or two videos before our interview with Mr. Baker. Let's see what we have. While we're waiting, I'll tell one more terrible joke. Okay. What is the snake's favorite school subject? 
um, I don't know what is it. His history. <laughs> <laughs> and on that cue, it's my turn, my time to stop telling jokes. Um, all right, time for some videos and then interview with Mr. Baker. Okay. No. I, I have more trivia for okay, you. Okay, bring on the trivia. Okay. Um, this African animal can run faster than a man. And it beats really surprised. Okay, so it's not a cheetah then. Nope. Hippo. Yeah. What? Yeah, a hippopotamus can run what? faster than a man. So, yikes. That was more of a joke guess on my part, but I'm very <laughs> pleased. Is that, does that mean I'm two for two right now? Maybe. I think so. There you go. Uh, what percent of the earth is covered by water? Oh, I, um, 77. Close, 70%. Oh, do I get a half point for that one? I think so. Okay, half point. How much of that is actually fresh water? Ooh. Okay, we got videos coming. Let's roll these videos. <laughs> Let's roll. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Nice cup stacking. I tried this cup stacking. I am incredibly slow at it. Really? It's hard. It is hard. I think the cups um, create a lot of friction. Wow. That is amazing. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Um, yeah. Clearly he's done this that before. That is so cool. Yeah. Wow. Oh my goodness. Look at him go. Oh, no. Rogue Cup, it's gone. Let's that is amazing. Let's see. And he's going to go all the way. All the way down to none. Great job. All right. That was Jijuan. Now we got Aiden. All right. So, Mr. T, the point of this is to... Uh, stack them as fast as possible. Right. right. So you have one minute, okay. and in that minute, you see how many times you can stack them up mm -hmm. and then take them down. Okay. I tried my best. I got four times. One. Okay. That's a 15, 15 seconds. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. How many do you think you could do? Oh, not that many. I, I don't know. I don't Maybe know. we'll have to try later. I don't know. I can't. I like the different uh, strategies here for stacking the, for uh, stacking all the cups. Oh, here we go, Eric. This is a really challenging one. Works on your fine motor mm -hmm. skills and strategy and yeah. Nicely done, Eric. I called this the cup stacking challenge, but perhaps we could have had a more fun name for it, like the castle building challenge yeah. or something. Castle destroying challenge. Ooh. Oh, that could have been a fun addition you build it up and then them. tear it and knock it down <laughs> well done eric nicely done you sir balloon is a wrecking ball i'll be back in just one second all right let's keep looking at some of these great videos All right, this just in, folks. After this video, oh, you know, look at you go. After you know finishes, Mr. Baker is going to be here to join us. Very excited. All right. Nicely done, sir. Go green team. Yeah, geez up. All right, here we go. We have Mr. Baker with us. Um, hello, Mr. Baker. Um, Go red team. Whoa. <laughs> the funny thing is Mr. Baker's had this makeup on ever since last sports day. I thought this was last Friday. I've been wearing it since then. <laughs> How are you doing, sir? I'm doing great. I, I miss you guys. That's all I'm well, going to say miss, first. We miss you too. Absolutely. Yeah, so nice to see really you in full uh, team spirit. <laughs> Do you have any words of encouragement for your friends on the red team or any other team? Of course. Go red team. Woo! Fire! 
<laughs> what about the other teams? No, none. <laughs> no. I'm old um, school. I'm old school. Yeah, yeah. No, um, not just old. Yeah. <laughs> so what would you like to talk about today? <laughs> uh, I just well, first I want to say you guys are doing an amazing job. I'm so I'm just amazed. I did not quite know what to expect this morning with the live video. Uh, and to see you guys pop up on the screen with your suits on, I, I feel like I'm back in Canada watching uh, Hockey Night in Canada. Well, there you go. <laughs> uh, I'm just amazed. You guys, well done. Well, thank you. FP, uh, teachers, and you guys are all amazing. Thank you. That's a really good point because we are up here in front of the camera, but there's so many teachers working so hard right now. I wish I could show you this room. We have four teachers in the conference room working so hard, making sure this, this happens, getting all the videos ready. All the other teachers are either at home or in their classroom, um, checking the videos, adding the points to the total, downloading the Everyone's working so hard here, but the students, oh, it's amazing. You see some of the stuff the students have been doing? Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, I have, I'm like, I'm watching from above. Nice. I'm literally <laughs> looking down <laughs> at the, because of the second floor, looking down, because I'm also <laughs> e-learning in between classes here now, so, yeah. Nice. It's exciting. Uh, it's so exciting. Are you going to wear that makeup to your next class? Probably. Uh, yeah, probably. I don't, I think this was actually, we, I didn't, couldn't find the face paint. I didn't want to run downstairs. I put on real paint. It burned. <laughs> uh, and I don't know how I'm going to get it off. Hi, Amelia. <laughs> I saw it pop up there on the screen. That is okay, uh, guys. Okay, well, I've got a few jokes. You guys have been telling these jokes all morning, and I thought I've got to tell a few <laughs> please, jokes. Please, I am running out. <laughs> okay, are you ready? Yes. Okay. All right, here we go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, how many apples grow on a tree? Um, 80. All 60. of them. All of them, guys. <laughs> uh, did, did you hear the rumor about butter? No, no. Well, I'm not going to spread it, so don't even. Ask. <laughs> okay. Uh, why? Why do you never see elephants hiding in trees? Um, because they're not scared of anything. Because they're so good at it. <laughs> okay, I got two more. I got two more. How does a penguin build its house? He glues it together. <laughs> what? He glues it together. <laughs> I don't get that one. It glues. It glues. Oh. It glues. There you go. It glues. Sorry about that, folks. <laughs> not so, it's not so much fun when you have to explain it. But it's okay. <laughs> okay, and I've got two more. I lied. I have six. I've got two more. Okay. Um, why did the old man fall in the well? Because uh, he was thirsty? Because he couldn't see that well. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> so all one. the teachers in the back room right now are yelling, "These are terrible," <laughs> but I absolutely love them. I think they're the best jokes ever. Yeah. Okay. Okay. One more. Uh, why don't skeletons ever go trick or treating? Because uh, they have no stomach to eat the candy. Oh, oh that's, that's would, that would work as well. Um, because they have no body to go with. Oh, oh. <laughs> sad. okay. Those are fantastic. Uh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. I would um, say good luck to everyone. Do you guys have any anything else you want to talk to me about? Or that was just going to be my last thing yeah. for you. If you have any words of wisdom or advice for the students going through this, have fun. Have fun. And if any like technical things happen, just go with it. It's okay. <laughs> have fun. It's all nice. good. All right. And, and congratulations again to uh, all the players, all the teams. Uh, well done. And uh, thank you to you guys. Oh, we have a joke here from Hara. Why did the computer cross the road? All okay, right. Hara, let's go. Why, let's Hara? Right. Because it was hard to drive. Hard drive? There's some joke with hard drive, no? <laughs> Come on, Hara. You got you to gotta <laughs> deliver the punchline. <laughs> What's the answer, bud? Oh, we're... All right. <laughs> okay. 
Maybe in our next interview, we'll get to <laughs> we'll get the <laughs> Thank you, okay. Mr. Baker. Thank you, Mr. Baker. Yeah. See you Thank later. You Take care. <laughs> All right. Um, we have two minutes left until our next challenge. But until then, let's take a look at the leaderboard. So we have the green team with 140 points, but close behind them, the yellow team, 112. The blue team has retaken third place with 101 points, and the red team, 84 points. Excellent job, my friends. Oh, did Hara tell us? Yeah, Hara just told it. So why did the computer cross the road? <laughs> because the chicken programmed it. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Nice one, Hara. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, we're in one minute's time. We are moving on to challenge number five. So challenge number five of nine. It is 10, almost. That means that we are almost halfway through this experience. Challenge number five is, um, I think, who? Miss Kim. Uh, Miss Kim helped explain this one. So she's going to be in the video. For this one, you need your ping pong balls and you need all 10 cups. Who are we? <laughs> Should I, uh, Absolutely. Uh, I guess you guys are the ones supposed to, to respond at home. Um, so let's take a look at Seesaw right here. Let's see if challenge number five is up yet. Uh, it looks like challenge number five is not up yet. <laughs> Give it 10 more seconds, my friends, and it should be up. Thank you so much for your participation so far. If you are just joining us, this is Sports Day. Go to your Seesaw and complete any of the challenges that are there. So if you've missed any of the challenges, we've had challenge one, two, three, and four so far, plus the six bonus challenges. Challenge number five will be up any second. Um, you, if you complete those challenges, send the videos in through Seesaw and earn points for your team. Challenge number five is up, my friends. Go watch the video and complete the challenge to earn a point for your team. Here we go. All right. Um, so while we're waiting, we are going to show some videos um, from the previous challenges. Let's take a look at those. Mr. Cool, do we have anything else from the YouTube chat that friends are posting? Go yellow, I saw that. I guess, that, is that the most recent or the... Uh, I don't know. No, this is, I gotta go to the other feed, I think. Oh, here we go. We got some, oh yes, I love this challenge. Air balloon challenge. Excellent job, Sean. You working hard. All right, let's see you knock those cups down. <laughs> Unfortunately, we couldn't see that first one, but I believe he knocked down a few. Go yellow. Well done, Phil. All right, who's the next video of yellow team? I'm going to guess this is Amelia. Well done. Ooh, Owen, you did the mountain climbers and the running bonus challenge. Well done, sir. Ooh, very smart idea, Amelia. Using the air, the balloon filler. Very nice, yes. Very clever. Have you ever tried a challenge like this, Mr. I have Super? not. This have is not. a really fun one. Perhaps we could try this later. Okay. Perhaps we could try it right now. Let's make it sure. happen. Yeah. All right, you stay here. Oh. Okay. It just got a little more interesting, everyone. <laughs> we got ourselves some cups here, folks. <laughs> All right. He's got five. I've got five. Let's see. Sorry. Okay. Blow Let's up. see who can complete this first. Uh, why don't we wait until we have the full screen for this one? So when Miss Kim is done sharing these amazing videos, we are going to challenge each other. So blow it up. I yeah, I always stretch out the balloon before I blow it up. Um, I don't know if it actually does anything at all, but uh, yeah. All right, Miss Kim. Yeah, we're ready. Mr. Cool and myself, we have our own personal challenge going. The stakes are high on this one. Yeah, so just put us full screen. Can you guys put us full screen? 
All right, here we go. Here we go. Mr. Cool versus right. Mr. T. These are my five. These are his five. Um, while we're waiting for more videos to come in, we are going to do this challenge. In seven minutes' time, we have another interview coming up um, with Miss Muhammad. All right. But until then, Mr. T versus Mr. Cool. Okay. I'm going to try and get all five in one. <laughs> hey, you can blow up your balloon already. Oh, okay. <laughs> <That's cheating. laughs> all right. Um, <laughs> Sorry. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Hope that's enough. <laughs> there it is. Oh wow. Yeah, I am very lightheaded right now. <laughs> 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 All right. And that's uh and that's it. I was, I was trying to be really cool and put the balloon away, but it did work. Oh. <laughs> oh. There you go. <laughs> All right. Um, now that our escapades are finished, we're going to go back and watch some of your videos. Here we go. Well, that was fun. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as we did. Here we go. Oh, there we go, Claire. Nicely done, Claire. All right. This is such a tough but fun challenge. <laughs> Oh, nice. Miss Drews, I was also afraid the balloon would pop, but I was willing to take that challenge to win. <laughs> or willing to, to make that you know, sacrifice. Well done, Claire. This is absolutely amazing. Wow. Can she complete it? Nice. Uh, I was kind of a tie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Whoa! Look at this teamwork, brother yellow. and sister. Nice. Oh, oh, there goes the balloon. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you guys are having a lot of fun. Speaking of fun, I might have one more joke. All right. I know I have one more. I do. I only have one more, and it is not good. But I'll tell it anyways. What is black, white, and red all over? Uh, the newspaper. That's what I thought it would be, but it's actually a sunburnt penguin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. Those are all my jokes. I'm okay. all out of jokes. Yep. Mr. T, uh, what do you call a fish with two knees? Toonie fish? Yeah, a toonie fish. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. You know, in Canada, that's an official uh, coin that we have, a toonie. Oh, it's yeah. a $2 coin. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, look at this. Oh, Nicely done. How many? Two, four, six, eight, nine left. Here we go. All right, red team. In three minutes, we have an interview with Miss Muhammad. I'm excited for that one. Okay. This is a tough one. I think blowing up the balloon is the toughest part of this That's challenge. Sophie. Yeah. Oh, great job, Sophie. I, uh, oh, nice, two in a row. <laughs> I love not only the face paint, but also the headband and the beret or the, the, the ribbon, the bow. That is amazing. And the shirt. I love it. Do you want to be part of our life? Uh, We're doing sports day right now. <laughs> Miss Drews has a joke for us, by the way. Oh, what do you give a sick lemon? Miss Drews, what do you give a sick lemon? I read the... Read the oh, I know this answer. Yeah, it's, it's ah, my nice. favorite. Lemonade! I love lemonade. <laughs> Nicely done. Wow. This is such a fun challenge. I'm curious, can you tell me what is your favorite challenge so far, my friends? So you can type this in the YouTube chat. I'm curious to see what your answers are. So far we've had five challenges. 
Yeah, so far we've had five challenges. So we've had the face paint challenge, we've had the balloon contact challenge, we've had the cup stacking challenge, we've had the air balloon challenge, and now the ping pong ball and cup challenge. Which one has been your favorite so far? Jinu. Um, so Jinu asks, do we have lunchtime? Uh, yes, Jinu, at 12 o'clock when this is finished, that's time for you guys to eat. Nicely done. Um, so you guys should, you know, have a snack here and there, um, drink some water and make sure you guys are staying hydrated. But yeah. Um, why don't we make this the last video that we watch before we interview Miss Muhammad? I'm unsure who this is. I'm curious. Who do you think yeah, this I is? I can't tell. From the yellow team. Oh, and that is it. All right. Um, let's see if we have Miss Muhammad ready for an interview. <clears throat> Not yet, all right. So while we're waiting, let's take a look at the leaderboard. So green team is still in the lead, but yellow team and now blue team are very close behind. Oh, wow. The red team is also doing pretty well themselves. Yeah, right? everybody's moving up. Nicely done. Great job, everybody. Don't forget about all those bonus challenges if you'd like to get yourself uh, and your team a bonus point. Um, those bonus challenges were put out at 9.05 on Seesaw. All six of them were put out there. So if you've only completed a couple of them or if you haven't done any of them yet, you can go do those when you complete your challenge. All right. Uh, let's see if we have any more um, sports day trivia. Sports trivia. Hello, oh, hi, Ma hi, Miss Mohammed. Oh, hello. How are you doing? I'm doing well. How are you guys doing? Good, Great. good, good, good. I hear that you have some questions for us. I do. So as we've been doing so much e-learning, I've had a lot of time to read. I was wondering if you guys have been reading any books lately and what have you been reading? Uh, I've been reading a lot of baby books. Um, <laughs> not only like kids books to my babies, but I've been reading books on uh, how to raise a healthy baby. So yeah, the most recent one, I think it's called Brain Rules for Baby or something along those lines. Pretty interesting. Yeah, very important. What about you, Mr. Cool? Absolutely. I um, just finished a book by uh, Mr. Krakauer uh, called Into Thin Air about mm. climbing Mount Everest. And it's, it was really good. I couldn't put it down. That is amazing. Have you read Into the Wild? Uh, no, not yet. Same author. Okay. I'll have, to, I'll have to read that one next. I have been making my way through the Iliad and it's been very entertaining. Yeah. That, that, that's not an easy read. It's been, it's been a little bit difficult, but I like challenging myself and learning about Greek mythology. So it's been very fun. Very impressive. I was also wondering, since we're with our students right now, what was your favorite book to read when you were in elementary school? Uh, do you want to go first on this one or should I? Um, Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Absolutely. It was a really good one. Yep. Um, when I was in elementary school, I loved any book written by Matt Christopher. So he was uh, an author that wrote about sports and, and a lot of things that you go through when you're, uh, when you're that age. So yeah, I really like any Matt Christopher book. Yeah, very cool. How about yourself? I loved reading Junie B. Jones. That was my favorite in first grade. I loved it. But I also loved Harry Potter. I nice. read those a lot. Yeah. Ms. Muhammad, I just have an idea. Is this a good time to ask the students to send in maybe the books that they're reading right now or what their favorite books are and maybe we can yeah. share them on the screen? That'd be amazing. Oh, great idea. I can't wait to hear all these. All right, so if you guys have any favorite books or any books that you're reading right now and you'd like to share them, maybe write that in on YouTube and on the YouTube chat and we'll try and share those on the screen. I know fourth grade is reading a book right now. Nice. Yeah, I saw that Ms. Drew said she really liked reading The Chronicles of Narnia. Mm -hmm. And yes. Mr. Bray said he liked Into the Wild. That's a great book. Ooh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll have to try that one. I really like Mr. Bray. I got it at yeah. home. Okay, great. Nice. Um, I think, do you have any other questions for us? Mm, what are you most looking forward to to do this weekend? Ooh. <laughs> um, I guess me would just be spending time with my kids. Um, weekends are great because yeah, you get to spend all day every day with them. Yeah. Hmm. Um, I just got uh, some avocados actually, and I'm really excited to make some guacamole. Oh, nice. That's Ooh, do you have any cilantro? 
Uh, no, I need some. I got some if you need more. Oh, great. Thank you. I'll hook you up. <laughs> that Jaden said he really likes reading Percy Jackson, and that's a great series, too. Nice. Ooh, Percy Jackson, very cool. So oh, Mr. Scoville, thank you. <laughs> um, Percy Jackson, Greek gods, nice. Mr. Cool, you'll have to bring by some of your guacamole so we can try it. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> How many avocados did you get? Because I'm hungry too. Five. All right. That'll make a good amount of guacamole. Home yeah. Home All right. Um, do you have any words of wisdom or any uh, encouragement for the students while they're at home working through all these challenges? Hmm. I would say keep trying your best. Um, don't give up and go blue team. <laughs> All, right. All right. Thank you so much, Ms. Mohammed, for joining Thanks, us. Mohammed. Thank you for having me. Bye. Bye. <laughs> that was amazing. Um, so yeah, don't forget, send in those, uh, those books that you guys are reading right now or your favorite books, and we will be sure to showcase them on the bottom of the screen. Um, all right, let's take a look at our leaderboard right here. Green is still in the lead, but oh, be careful, Green. Blue and yellow are coming to get you. Don't forget wow. about red there. Red is just about to break the 100 point <laughs> threshold. Amazing job, Mike. That's friends. great. Everybody's going to break 100 today. That's fantastic. Oh, yeah. Now, don't forget what Mr. Hill was saying before. Teachers are going to come together and do something based on the amount of points that you guys get. So even if you guys don't have the highest points um, out of all four teams, that doesn't mean that the teachers aren't going to do those activities. Even if your team finishes third or fourth, however many points you guys have, the teachers will do that many activities. So I'm really excited to see that. Oh, Ms. Versova, she's saying excellent job to you guys. Well, uh, well done. All right. So in five more minutes time, we have the next challenge coming. This is a fun one. Um, so I want to take a second to recognize Sophie's family. I've used two of their videos for Brain Breaks. They sent me some videos of some of the fun ways that they're staying active at home. And they said it's okay for me to use them for Brain Break. I'm also going to use one of them for Sports Day. So the next challenge is going to involve uh, another, challenge, another idea that Sophie's family kind of came up with as a way to stay active at home during these times. So I'm really excited for you guys to see that. But yeah, maybe now we can see some more videos. Yep. Oh, any, any ones. So we'll show you some from challenge four, some from challenge five. We're going to show you uh, any videos we can just to celebrate all the amazing work that you guys are doing at home. Yep. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Sometimes I think they're talking to me, but they're actually not. Um, Mr. Take, cool. Yeah. Did you play any sports when you were younger? I did. I was a wrestler and a golfer and I played hockey. Nice. And I played baseball, but not in but only up until high school. Nice. All right. Looks like we have oh, we have the ping pong ball challenge. Very one. cool. All right. I love this game. Let's see if they can do it. Oh, Whoa, great shot. Nice. All right. Almost, almost. Great idea using a wall. In my introduction video. I didn't think of that. So Claire, amazing idea, my friend. That's going to yeah, save you a lot of time. Yeah, giving you a backboard. Yeah. It's a great idea. Well done, Claire. Do we know who's uh, who's doing this one? Uh, no, not yet. I've only seen the cups. The cups and the feet. Yep. They All have right. great feet, whoever they are. <laughs> oh. So for this one, when we tried to do it as well, we experienced problems like that too, knocking down the cups. So we recommended you put some water or a rock or something in them to keep them um, on the ground. But uh, yeah, if you knock some cups over, eh, that happens. Well done. All right. Do you have any more interesting facts for me, Mr. Cool? I do. Oh, oh, let's continue talking about your sports. So oh. you said you played golf, yep. wrestling, yep. hockey. Yep. 
And baseball. Uh, and baseball. Wow. Mm-hmm. Uh, actually, I pole vaulted a little bit in high school as well. <laughs> I feel like that's almost the opposite of me because I played basketball, volleyball, rugby, uh, running. Uh-huh. So it's just like we almost have all sports covered. Yeah, almost the all of them. Yeah. That's what was beautiful. your favorite? Uh, volleyball. Volleyball. How about you? Golf. Nice. Golf. Uh, rest. Eh, it's hard. I like all sports. <laughs> They're pretty fun. Oh, nice shot. Well done. Um, what position did you play in baseball? Uh, I played second base and I played a little bit of catcher. Okay. But I really couldn't throw the ball to second base, so I, I it was harder for me. <laughs> gotcha. I always felt like catcher would be so hard on your knees. It is. Yeah. It is. It's really fun, though. Yeah. Because, you know, in baseball, you know, you're constantly waiting for something to happen, but the, the catcher and the pitcher are busy. Yeah, which that's is a good nice. point. Do you know how many uh, minutes there of action there is in a baseball 18? game? 18 minutes. Yeah. You learn something new every day. Yeah. All right. Well done. Good idea. Putting the cups on a yoga mat. That might help them stay down. Ooh, nice shot. Oh, great shot. Olivia S has completed all the bonus activities. Wow. Congratulations. Do you remember what team Olivia S is on? I I feel like the blue team. I feel like we saw a video before and she was wearing blue. But uh, if I'm wrong, I apologize. But uh, blue team, six bonus points just from Olivia S. That is amazing. <laughs> Nicely done. <laughs> Great job. Now, when you golf, yeah, um, are you a righty or a lefty? Lefty. Ooh, is that that's unique, isn't it? Yeah, actually, it's it's uh, very um, unique here because, like screen golf, there's not a lot of places that have left-handed. That's a good point. So yeah, my my dad had me be a lefty, and sometimes it's great, and sometimes for golf it's very rare, so it's hard to find golf clubs. <laughs> Did you know that only six percent of golfers are left-handed? Are yeah, yeah, not many. It's, I, um, I just made up that number. But, um, <laughs> it's not many. Yeah, I assume it's not many. Nicely done, Aiden. Oh, did that one go in? Nice. All right, guys, we're going to keep going with this. Um, well, it is time for challenge number six. So what I'd like you guys to do right now is go to your seesaw. I'm going to double check to make sure it has already been sent out. Challenge. It's out. The first five are out, and challenge number six is out. Go to it. Challenge number six is from Sophie and her family. Um, you're going to use your cups, but challenge number six is fun because there's the option of you doing this with somebody else in your family. If you do it by yourself, you've got to do all 10 cups. But if somebody else in your family joins you, mom, dad, brother, sister, anybody, you only do five cups each. So I'm really curious to see what kind of videos we're going to see from this one. But yeah, were you good at obstacle courses when you were younger? I loved them. Yeah. 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 Actually, I just went to uh, Monster Sports or, or no, sorry, Sports Monster at Starfield. Okay. Yeah. And that is really, really fun. It's got a big obstacle course for everybody and like uh, a ropes course, which cool. is really, really fun. Yeah. I heard that there's going to be a Starfield going in very close to our school in a few years. That would be so cool. If they have one of those, I might find myself there every weekend. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so basically the premise for this one, after you watch the video, is you're going to put the cups down, try and put them a couple feet apart, and you, you need five stuffed animals for this one and a bin. So you're going to bear crawl, bear walk over top of those cups, grab one stuffed animal, and run between the cups and put it back in the bin. Um, if you're doing this with somebody else, you guys can race against each other to see who completes it first. So this is a really fun one. Let's see some more submissions from other students. This is still ping pong ball. All yeah. right. This is amazing. You guys are doing such a great job. I love this. What I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and take all these amazing videos and I'm going to try to edit them together in a total sports day video that you guys can watch and reflect on. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to get it done by Monday, but I'll try my best. So sometime next week, hopefully on Brain Break, I'll share the Sports Day video with you, which should encompass all of these 15 challenges. We'll also have as many students as I can uh, participating in them. Um, so yeah, great job, guys. We will try not to have much of us talking on it because you guys are going to be sick of us. I'm sure, today. yeah. Go Earth. I love all it. right. Go Green Team. Uh, Mr. Cole, do we have any uh, other YouTube yep. uh, questions or comments? YouTube. 
Oh, uh, Hara. Hara loves golf too. Yeah, he just wrote a paper about it. It's actually really I good. I've seen Hara play golf. He's really good. Yeah. Um, go yellow team. All right. Good job, Phil. Okay, Ms. Ruslova, keep at it, friends. You're doing an amazing job. Love it. This All is right. a really cool angle. Do you see this angle right here? Yeah, that's, oh, that's perfect. Such a, such a great yeah. angle. Can't really tell if any have gone in, but that was a cool camera angle. I have some more fun facts when you're ready. Okay. Uh, let's see what Dadim has for us here. Yep. I like the face paint, Dadim. All right, tell me a fun fact. Okay. What two parts of your body continue growing your entire life? Mm, unfortunately, I think this is one of them. Your nose and your ears? <laughs> yep, your nose and your ears. See, I'm going to just avenge you because I already started with a monster <laughs> nose. It's just going to keep getting bigger. <laughs> so I think I think I'm, I got 3.5 out of 4 right yep, so far. Yep, I think you'd have. Um, another, so what percent of a human's body is water? Ooh. 80? Close. 70. Ah, 70%. Same, same of, as the earth. Yep. That's same as the cool. earth. Yeah. That's weird. I don't yeah. know what the connection is there. Hmm. Huh. Um, did you know your heart is the same size as your fist? Hmm. Nice. Hmm. Andre the Giant had a massive <laughs> fist. I wonder how big it is. <laughs> so does Shaq. Have you ever oh, seen yeah. Those are like bear paws. They're huge. Um. All right, we got Jihu here doing her ping pong ball challenge. Did you know kangaroos can't walk backwards? Huh, can they hop backwards? I don't know. <laughs> All right, in about five minutes time, we're gonna have another interview coming up with Mr. Fijis. But don't forget, if you guys would like to be interviewed, send Mr. Hill an email, and we would love to interview you on this live feed. There's the email there, dhill at daltonschool.kr. I'll be back in just one second. Yeah. All right, Mr. Cool, you know what we're doing now? We're doing our own ping pong ball challenge. Okay. All right, so. Um, Great. <laughs> uh, why don't we do this here? You can stand from behind the camera. Okay. And uh, go, go grab a couple ping pong balls from one of those bags. I will set up the challenge for you. How am I missing one here? All right, here we go. Mr. Cool with his first attempt at our ping pong ball challenge. Oh, almost. Oh, that might have been in if we had some something weighing the cups down. I'll try and hold them. See if this works. Whoa! All right, my turn. Yep. All right, here we go. Got it. Boom! Did first try. Yep. Knocked over some cups. Let's try one more. Come on, boy. Oh, there you go! <laughs> wow. All right, folks. That was fun. <laughs> All right. Um, in just a few minutes here, we have an interview with Mr. Fijis, and I'm excited to see what he has to say to us. Um, while we're waiting for that, I'm going to ask you a couple more uh, sports trivia questions. Love it. Um, oh, 1969. Got to find. Okay. The term home run was already previously, previously used in a different sport before becoming a mainstay in baseball vocabulary. What sport was that? Cricket. Home run. Yeah, that's a good guess. Home run. 
Home run. Does anybody out there know the answer? Home run. What other sport could home run have been used in? <laughs> home run. Can't be soccer, right? Home run. Can't be basketball. Uh-uh. Well, baseball is a lot older than basketball yeah, and yeah. football. Right. Um, so I'm thinking of old sport soccer. What about golf? Like golf. a hole in one home run? Home no. Home run. <laughs> That's a terrible tennis. Uh, um, all right. We're going to go with cricket as our official answer. Um, the answer is cricket. Well done, <laughs> sir. All right. Um, whoa. This basketball move was banned between the years of 1967 and 1976. What was it? Slam dunk. Slam dunk. Yeah. That's got to be it, right? Yeah. Nice. Do you think someone just broke a backboard and they're like, no more? Yeah. I don't think LeBron or Michael Jordan was very happy with that <laughs> rule. Well, LeBron wasn't born yet. Nope. <laughs> he was born the same year I was born. Um, all right. Let's see if Mr. Fegis is ready for our interview. All right. We are going to have an interview with Mr. Fegis as soon as Phil's done this video. Um, excellent job. Great job, Phil. All right, here we go. Mr. Fegis, how are you doing, sir? Hey, I'm great. How are you guys? Great. Um, I got a couple questions for you. You do? When you were in school, what were sports days like for you? Okay, so my school was a little bit weird. We had a lot of different buildings with like these walkways in between them. So there was a ton of outdoor space and we would all go out to one of those little spaces and they set up a ton of different challenges, sort of like we do here at CDS. Um, and we would just walk around all day and participate in them. And if we won something, then we got a nice ribbon to take home, oh, cool. which I loved. Nice. Yeah. Uh, what kind of games were your favorite? Um, I was always really great at the potato sack races. Do you know a potato sack race? Yeah, where you like put your feet inside a big bag and you have to like jump around and see who can get the finish line first. Yeah, I love that oh, one. Yeah. I love the crab walk too. Yeah, so I liked, I guess, racing in kooky ways for my nice. favorite. We will have to incorporate those uh, the next time we do an outdoor sports day. <laughs> um, yeah, well, it would be hard to do it here. Yeah, sure. really great segue into this this whole sports day setup. So obviously we want to give the students um, every opportunity to play sports as possible, but we have many, many restrictions. Students are in their, their apartments. They want to stay quiet, mm. but we still want to have games where they can be as independent as possible, but still as quiet as possible. So, <laughs> right. yeah. Um, out of the challenges that you've seen before uh, so far, well, which one has been your favorite? Um, I love the ping pong ball challenge. That one is pretty challenging, but yeah. a lot of fun. And I like um, seeing our students' faces when they make one in and they didn't expect it. <laughs> They're always really surprised. <laughs> <laughs> I love to see that. Um, I also love the balloon one. And knocking the cups off yeah. the table. I hadn't seen that one before. It's pretty awesome. We'll have to do like a whole teacher challenge of that at some point. Oh, yes. Absolutely. Nice. All right. Well, do you have any words of wisdom or any words of encouragement for the students uh, as they're continuing on with their sports day experience? Oh, I just want to tell them to keep on getting it. I'm seeing some awesome stuff going on. They're staying active and healthy and doing really great. So good job, guys. Isn't it amazing? Every team's over 100 points right now. Um, mm -hmm. Just doing some quick math, we have probably 600 total submissions so far. How oh incredible goodness. is that? That's amazing. That's wow. amazing. I'm just, I'm so proud of our students. And yeah, so thank you to all the teachers for going through all those submissions. Thank you to all the students for completing those. But yeah, thank you, Mr. Fijas, for this interview. Yeah, no problem. It's fun. All right. See you later. See ya. Bye. All right, guys. So we are going to update you on the exact numbers because they are getting close. Green team still in the lead with 163.5. But yellow team, you are now so close to them, 152.5. Uh, blue team also very, very close, 140. Red team, 122. We've got ourselves a race. Yeah. Here. Yeah. This is fantastic.
It's going to be fun to the end. I know. And don't forget, if you weren't able to complete some of the earlier ones, or if you're just joining us late, uh, then you can do the older submissions, even if you've missed them. Send those in, and we will give you your team points for them, give you credit for those. Okay? Um, let's see if we have any videos ready from the previous challenge. So Ooh, the obstacle course, the obstacle course. Yeah. I'm really excited to see that one because our next challenge starts in seven minutes, but uh, yeah, I'm really excited to see how the obstacle course challenge went. Um, so I don't know if you were able to see this one. So basically what you do is you put those 10 cups in a row mm -hmm. and then you got a bear walk, bear crawl over them, pick up one stuffed animal and then you run between them and drop that stuffed animal off in a bit. Ah, okay. Yeah, I, I believe I saw Sophie do it in the in the oh, cool. video. It looks really, really fun. Nice. Let's see him do it. Is this Eric right here? It's tough to tell. I agree with Miss Mohammed. You guys are killing it. You guys are doing amazing. Um, so great job. Excellent job. Oh, nice bear walk. All right, let's see who else we have here. Ooh, look at this one. Wow, what a setup. Nicely done. Look at those fast feet. Yeah. <laughs> Did you ever have like fast feet, good agility, yeah. stuff like that? Yep. Yeah. I, I always relied on my endurance. Any sport that I played, I may not have had the best technical skills, but I could always run longer Forever. and farther than anyone else. So that's, that's, I relied on that a lot. Did you have any kind of skills that you really relied on? Um, Hand-eye coordination. Ooh, nice. Hand-eye was pretty good. Yep. Yep, if I could see it, I could usually hit it. Look at all those puppy dogs. I guess, I think that's Aiden that has. That's super cute. I'm very jealous of all those puppy dogs. I only have one and he is massive. <laughs> Now, I never got into the sport of wrestling. Mm -hmm. I assume it's something that, like many other sports, takes a lot of time, dedication. It does. Yeah. Do you have any stories from wrestling? Um, so my senior year, I was in the state finals. Oh, we got a challenge here. Oh, Two. here we go. Head to head. I like it. Whoa. Well done, my friends. Amelia and Eunice. <laughs> That's so great. Sorry, to no, interrupt your please. story. No, great job, everybody. But yeah, I was my my senior year. I was uh, in the state finals, and I had to wrestle my best friend, wow. who I wrestled all the way up. We started when we were like four years old. State finals. I'm yep. not sure if you guys understand how impressive <laughs> that is. State finals. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, we were both really little, as I, you know, I had never really grew, but we were both 103 pounds, and <laughs> um, we took. I shouldn't have laughed at that. <laughs> no, it's okay. <laughs> you know, most people's one leg is like that much weight, so it's. <laughs> But um, he and I wrestled like all the time and we took it all three periods and even into overtime. And then he beat me with an escape to win the state championship my senior year. And I lost by one point to Aww. my best buddy. Well, I mean, was it kind of like bittersweet? Like you, yeah. you lost, but at least your best friend yeah. got, yeah. I won the year beforehand. Oh, so okay. It was okay. okay. That's good. <laughs> so you're a state champion. Yep. That is incredible. I... I come from a country where we don't have states, but I was never a provincial champion at anything. We went to the provincials once for rugby, but not a sport I was very good at. Yeah, it's really fun. It's really fun. They do this whole like uh, a parade of champions um, and you go through and we, it was at the Red Wings Stadium. Oh, no way. Stadium, yep. And you come out and all the state uh, places were all and they walk around and Everybody's cheering. It's something I'll never forget. Wow. It was really cool. So you're talking about the Detroit Red Wings, the NHL hockey stadium. It's it's massive. That would be such a spectacle. Yeah, it was fun. You kind of feel like we're we're one of the pros, just for a little bit. But cool. it was really fun. Lots of hard work, though. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. Yep. Do you ever miss? I assume you had morning practices. We did. Do you ever miss those morning practices? Waking up at like five thirty in the morning and lugging your equipment. Or whatever? <laughs> no, I don't because uh, yeah, I lived in Michigan, so I had to drive at five o'clock in the morning. Through the snow, yeah, <laughs> um, and it was always so cold. Yeah, um, to get to get out there and into a cold car, and then go to practice, and then 
go to school and then go back to practice for a couple more hours. So it was a lot of work. It's a lot of de dedication. It is. But yep. I mean, you meet so many amazing people playing sports like that mm -hmm. and just staying motivated and having that dedication towards one particular sport. Um, it, it helped me tremendously as I grew up. Um, the leadership, the understanding of commitment and, and yeah, just all those experiences that I had. Um, yeah, I wouldn't change anything in the world. If you could go back and change anything, would you? Probably not. It was pretty, sports have really done a lot for me. Um, I, I don't think I'd be here where I am today without them. And yeah, I don't really have any regrets. They're all pretty yes. great. What would you say your, your favorite moment in sports oh, has been? That's a really tough one. Um, my favorite moments in a lot of stuff has always been around the social aspect of sports. So I did a lot of rock climbing when I was in university, played a lot of volleyball, and it was never a specific time, but just going to those tournaments or just being out um, outdoors um, with a lot of great people was always my favorite thing. Um, and I, I found as I aged, maybe I changed my sport, but I always maintained something similar where I was always with a big group of people, usually it was outdoors. And, uh, and yeah, that's the main kind of common denominator that I've always had. So, yeah. Very cool. Very cool. We are one minute away from our next challenge. This is challenge number seven. I believe this was Miss Barr's favorite mm -hmm. or the challenge she was most excited about. Yep. So we're going to stop the videos here and after this one and uh we are going to um let you know about challenge number seven so challenge number seven will be coming up in probably about 30 seconds um once again this challenge uh, uh this one was done by miss pabon miss pabon did the video for this so i'm really excited for you guys to see this so challenge number seven. Before we do that, let's take an update on the results. Whoa, look at this. 169.5 oh for green. Yellow's catching 167 up. 167 for yellow. It's getting this, close. This is amazing. All right, guys, keep it up. You guys are doing such a great job. What I need you guys to do right now is go to Seesaw, refresh your page, because challenge number seven should be there. It's up. Watch the video. Complete the challenge. Submit your video to get points for your team. All right. I cannot believe it's so close. Ms. Bray, do you want to join us and say hi? Sure. All right. Mr. Bray has been behind the scenes all day. He's been doing such an amazing job. How are you doing, Mr. Bray? I'm great. You guys are doing an awesome job, by the way. And so are you. So are you. He's, he's, he's the one behind, behind the camera doing all the work. It's can really, you, really great. Can you believe how close this competition is? Uh, it's amazing. 169 <laughs> to 167. Like, it doesn't get closer than that. Yeah, well, I guess it could be one point. But still, it's really close. Considering all the challenges that they have and yeah. all the different people that are competing, yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, great job, everybody. Happy Sports Day! Woohoo! All right. So, in a little bit time, we are going to have another interview. This one's going to be with Mr. Reed. But before then, um, we are going to uh, watch a couple videos in a minute. <laughs> We are going to continue talking about, <laughs> um, yeah. yeah. Stop. All right. Another fact or, uh, what material was you first used to cover baseballs? Oh, uh, pigskin. Mm, that's a really good guess. I'm going to say neon lycra. <laughs> um, cowhide. Cowhide. There you go. We were both wrong. Um, don't even know what that is. A lot of these, I don't, I don't even know what they are. Oh, <laughs> what was the name of the professional football player who changed his name to match the number on his jersey? Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> no, no, no Ocho Cinco. Yeah. Ocho Cinco, yeah. Um, what was his original name? Do you remember? Uh, Chad. I think Johnson? Is it Chad Johnson? Oh, I could be wrong. Yep, yeah. Chad Johnson. You're right. <laughs> And yeah, he changed his name to Ocho Cinco. Um, he, yeah, that was an interesting move on this part. <laughs> so Sophie has already finished all of her challenge uh, bonus bonus challenges. Great job, Sophie. That is amazing. Uh, Julian and his dad did challenge six together. <gasps> I'm so excited to see that one. Yeah. Very With cool. Liam, nice. Oh, look at this. Well done. 
Guys, I love these challenges. You guys are doing such a great job. Very clever too. If you guys don't have stuffed animals, you could use something else. We got staplers and pencils and erasers here. Very, very clever ideas. We call that critical thinking. I like it. Oh, is that Jinu? I think this is Jay. Jay. Oh. Could be wrong. It's really tough to see from here. Yeah, I can't tell. My eyes aren't the best. Sorry, guys. We're trying to see who it is. I think Jinu's on the blue. No. What? He's red. He's red? He's okay. Red. Well done, my friends. Well done. So right now, you guys are working on challenge number seven. And like Ms. Barr said before, this challenge involves your plastic water bottle that we gave you. And that's pretty much it. Um, so a tip, uh, Ms. Pabon recommended you have three or four fingers of water in the bottom. You guys can experiment with that. Add a little more water, take a little more out, but flip that ball over, see if you can land it. Do you think you could do that? I think I could actually. Let's go see if we oh, can. Oh, you can sit here. I'll okay. Package over here so I right. All right, uh, but you're gonna have to drink yeah, some I'm water. Yeah, drink some water. All right. Ooh. Would you like a green wristband, sir? Sure. Oh, it says stuff on it too. What does it say? It says, "Be my friend." That's there nice. you go. Yeah. It's going to be tough to drink all this water really quickly. All right, as we're doing this, we are taking a look at videos that you guys have completed. Amazing job, my friends. And in five more minutes, we have an interview with Mr. Reed. All right, they're going, oh, they're going full screen on us. That means it's time for us to do the bottle flip challenge. Okay. I'm, I'm going with even less water. I'm, I think I'm going three fingers okay. in here. Okay, I'm ready. You guys can go full screen on us if you want, because we're about to flip away. Perhaps we should move the mic. Okay, you ready? Is this gonna be the first first one right to get here. one? The first one to get three? Or how do you want to do this? Let's do maybe one. Okay, and then we'll go from there. Ready? Okay. Set. Go. Oh. <laughs> All right. Oh, I gotta. I gotta ah. either take more water out. Oh, that was close. That was impressive. <laughs> All right. Now you guys are just going to have to sit and wait through until I actually get this. This is oh, that was close. This is challenging. Did you practice? No. Oh, my goodness. I apologize to all you guys at home having to sit through this. Oh, oh come on, Mr. T. Oh, no. Okay, I got to stand up for this one. Oh. <laughs> Hey, there it is. All right. Um, so, yeah, that was challenging. Yeah, there's actually really great stuff on YouTube with, with the bottle challenge. People throwing it, like, across rooms and, oh like, goodness. up upstairs. And it's I can't, amazing I can't even do, do it. it right here. Yeah. All right, let's take a look at our leaderboard again. Um, ooh, green team is taking a little more of a lead here. Well done. But blue team has made up some ground. 152 for blue team. Well wow. done. Um, I'm going to keep practicing this on my own here. So when we do our second challenge, I have a fighting chance. Okay, you know what? I think it's ready. You ready to do this, so loud. Mr. Cool? Yeah. All right. Three, two, one, go. Oh. Oh. Oh, I had that one. Oh, we got it. Oh. Oh, you're going for art. You're going for height. <laughs> See, it's a little unfair because I had all that practice before. <laughs> ah. Oh, so close. Hey, oh, I thought you had that one. I'm just going to go to sleep over here. Can you guys wait? Oh, there you go. <laughs> All right, so we should oh, stop thanks, being everybody. silly. Thanks, Miss Barr. 
<laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, leaderboard, 175 for green, 167 for yellow, 153 for blue, 134 for red. Amazing job, my <laughs> friends. Keep putting in your submissions. Keep doing those bonus challenges. Um, and, yeah, here we go. We are two minutes away from an interview with Mr. Reed. Um, I will be back in one second. Can you tell him some interesting facts? Absolutely. <laughs> Miss Drews is wor worried about the water spilling. Don't worry, Miss Drews. We'll get the lids on tight, I think. All right. Interesting facts. Hmm. So you guys have probably seen me yawn a bit today. You know, an average yawn lasts six seconds. Yeah, about six seconds. Hmm. Did you know frogs drink water through their skin? I didn't know that. All right, Mr. Cool. Okay, um, Mr. Key's back. I really want to interview some students on here, but we've got a bit of a problem. So Mr. Hill is a very busy man, and I've been giving you Mr. Hill's email to use, um, but he has been pulled away to do a lot of busy, important stuff, so he's not able to check his email right now. But I still want to interview you guys. So we're going to say, if you would still like to be interviewed on here, on live, on the live feed, send an email to Miss Kim at jkim at dalton.kr. So that'll come up on the bottom in a minute. Um, send an email to Miss Kim and just say, hi, I would like to be interviewed. And then she will send you back an email with the link of how to do it. And yeah, we'll get that done. All right. It is 1110 right now, which means interview with Mr. Reed. Uh, there's Miss Kim's email. Send her an email if you would like to be interviewed, just like we're about to interview Mr. Reed right now. All right. Hello, sir. How are you doing, Mr. Reed? Hi, Mr. Reed. Hi, I'm doing great. How are you, Mr. T? How are you, Mr. Cole? We're doing great. Um, All right. I have a question for you. So we have every student in the school has 10 paper cups. And while they're using them for so many amazing things uh, for sports day, do you have any ideas on what they could do with them after all this is finished? Oh, that's a great question. So when you're done, you're probably going to have a lot of paper cups like these uh, that you maybe don't know what to do with. And I've got a lot of creative ideas that I've been uh, transforming cups into here in the art room. So just with a little extra uh, paper, this is like one of those little rubber ducks. If any of you guys have seen like that are swimming right now uh, at the lake park in Changna. But I just wrapped a little bit of yellow paper around my cup uh, just to make like a funnel shape and added some extra features like the like the bill here, just out of some little uh, shapes that I cut out of, of paper. And you could draw on the features. Uh, if you're up for a little bit uh, more of a challenge, uh, you could invent an animal of your own, like uh, my octopus friend here. Wow. And uh, this is just a little accordion fold there for the legs. And I found something that I could connect them to there. So uh, you could invent uh, the animal that you would like to create. And if you're Mr. up for it, sorry to interrupt you, but did yeah. you know that octopus have the biggest eyes? Uh, squid. 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 Sorry. <laughs> Is that of any animal? Uh, yeah, that's one of the trivia that we were talking about earlier. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> there you go. Sorry, keep, keep going. going. Keep going. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, so some other ideas. Uh, you can make a house like this one or even a whole village of the cups that you guys have at home. Uh, and I also have here, this is a team trophy I designed for well, I'm green team, but you could design this uh, for any uh, color uh, or or any team uh, for your team. So and for that one, I just took two cups and just stacked them opposite. And I happen to have some uh, paper strips here that I could use uh, to make the handles for the trophy. Um, yeah, and you could design it with uh, anything. You could design it with uh, your team symbol there at home. So... Any kind of ideas, maybe we can make it a side challenge. Most creative uh, design uh, using uh, the cups you have at home. 
Mr. Reed, I would be willing to give bonus points to students if they are able to do that. Um, is that okay with you? I think that's a great idea. Okay, so we're gonna add this in. Um, anyone, if at the end of the day, because let's see if you guys still need the cups. Um, no, you're done with the cups today. You can start doing this now. So bonus point for any team. If you've already done all your bonus challenges, this is bonus challenge number seven. Be creative with the cups. Do something like what Mr. T Mr. Reed recommends or create something of your own. Send us a picture of that. Um, maybe I'll send out the seesaw challenge right now and you guys can earn <laughs> bonus points. I love it. Great ideas, Mr. Reed. Wow, look at all the great threes that have already finished all their ch bonus challenges. Holy cow. Julian, Mohammed, Owen, Dalim, Yesong, Cuban, and Ella all finished already. Great job. Actually, Mr. Reed, do you think yeah. you would be able to create that challenge on Seesaw? Uh, absolutely. Do you think you'd be able to put it in the folder for 2020 Sports Day? Uh, coming right up, guys. I uh, can't you wait to see what you guys are create. The best. All right, guys, you heard it. Uh, brand new challenge. Just came up with it this minute <laughs> with Mr. Reed, the uh, Creative Cup Challenge. So instead of just taking these cups and throwing them out in the garbage, you could be super creative with them, do some sort of art project, and have something meaningful at the end of the day. Get a point for your team. I absolutely love it. Mr. Reed, before you go, do you have any words of wisdom or anything you'd like to share with the students? Uh, I've just been loving seeing everything that's coming in. I love how you guys are being creative at home and just seeing you put uh, your best effort into all these activities. It looks great. Well, thank you so much, sir. Uh, I'll see you, see you around. And yeah, what great ideas. I love them. All right. Thanks, Mr. T. Thank you, Mr. Cool. Bye. All right, guys. You heard it. Brand new challenge. Um, so be creative with those cups. Send us uh, a picture after Mr. Reed sends you the new challenge. Okay. Let's take a look at the leaderboards here while we are waiting. Uh, green team, 179. Yellow team, 170. Blue team, 162. Red team, 144. This is super, super close, my friends. I love how we have an extra challenge now for you to get more points at the end. Remember, the teachers will have to do more, something more. If we just keep adding challenges, <laughs> yeah. teachers, just yeah, that'd be great. All right. Um, oh, go ahead. <laughs> oh, no, you go. No. It's 11.15 right now. In five minutes' time, we have our next challenge coming up. Um, we're going to take a look at some videos right now of the last two challenges. I'm really excited to see these bottle flip successes. Yeah. Do you want, do you want to try perfect. it one more time? Yeah, absolutely. All right. Three, two, one, go. Oh, brutal. I didn't realize I drank some water during our interview <laughs> with Mr. Reed. So my bottle is very different right now. Oh. Wow, it's really different. <laughs> okay, can I try your yeah. bottle? Oh, wow. I'm not just making excuses, guys. Oh, uh, we have some kiddos doing the water bottle challenge oh, right do now. We? Yep. All there right. Let's see. All right. Oh, I, did, I didn't see that one. Oh, nice. <laughs> All right, these are amazing. I wonder how many times it took them to complete these challenges. Yeah, I don't know. Now, that's one of the big things about today is you're not going to be successful the first time. The first time I tried, <laughs> tried the bottle flip <laughs> challenge, it probably took me 15 or 20 times, but that's okay. You work through it, work through these new skills. Um, if you don't succeed at first, you keep trying, keep trying, and yeah, you guys will get there. So amazing job, my friends. Um, so a lot of these challenges also, you can take a video and if you complete it and you'd like to try again or, or try to improve your score or something, you can just delete that video on Seesaw and try again. These are amazing guys. Well done. All right, um, we have three more minutes till our next challenge. Guys, I can't believe it. 
this is the seventh challenge and we're pretty much done that seventh challenge. We only have two more challenges left wow. and then sports so is bad. finished. Wow. Um, all right. The next challenge is going to involve the paper that's in your, your sports day pack. I'm not going to tell you any more right now because I do want you to watch the video, but yeah, I hope you guys haven't uh, used that paper for anything yet. Actually, the next two challenges involve that paper. Um, so yeah, after this challenge, you don't need the water bottle anymore. You don't need the cups anymore. You don't need the balloons anymore. So if you want to be creative with those balloons for your cup challenge, if you want to create like a hot air balloon or something fun like that, feel free to do that as well. The only things you need for the last two challenges are the paper and that's it. You are going to need a bin of some sort from your house. Uh, but yeah, from our sports day package, that's all you will need. What is the score? Jaden asks, let's take a look. Um, you guys won't be able to see it, but I will say them out loud. Green team, 185.5, yellow team, 176, blue team, 164, red team, 150. That is so many. Um, yeah, unbelievable. All right, Jenny, let's see this bottle flip. This is a tricky one. I love seeing these longer videos. That means that students are sticking with it. It means the students are trying their best. They might be failing at first, but they're going to keep, keep going and keep going. It is really, really tricky, but I'm so impressed that you guys are not giving up. Well done. Okay, my friends, it is 1120 right now. So what I need you guys to do is go to Seesaw again. Even though we're going to watch another video here, go to Seesaw because Sports Day Challenge number eight is already out there. So go take a look at challenge number eight and complete that challenge with a video to earn your team points. Excellent job, my friends. All right, Sunu, I'm excited to see your video. What do you got for us, sir? Ooh. Mr. Cool, if I challenge yes. you to only have five tosses, but you have to get it at least once, do you think okay. you can do that? Yeah. All right. Okay. Five tosses. Five tosses. One. Very close. Ooh. Two. two. Uh oh. Wow, well done. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. I get Less the same five. challenge. Yep. So I get 13 chances, right? <laughs> five, five chances. Oh, uh, who okay. can do it on the first try? No. Nope. Oh, oh, two. I'm not flipping enough. Oh, what was I do? Oh, no. Last one. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh. All right, I uh, I don't think I'm going to be a professional bottle flipper. Sad news, but Uju doesn't have the papers. Okay, Uju, if you don't have the papers, that's okay. I'm sorry that I didn't give you the papers. All you need are regular A4 papers, and you're going to follow the folding method in the video. So uh, first fold, I usually do it in the middle, but on the papers, I gave you the number folds. So you're going to need three papers for this, Uju. Um, so you fold it, your first one like this, your sorry, like so, Ooh. and your third one is the wings for the paper airplane. Now we shouldn't use all these papers because okay. we need the burnouts, yeah. but, uh, do you think you could throw this into a bin? Uh, we, get, we should get a bin. All right. Can you see me? Oh, I got to cover my eyes for this. Hey! Success. <laughs> All, right. All right. My turn? Um, yeah, but you got to set up like across the room. Okay. 
even if I don't get it in, can you pretend like I did get it in? We'll, yeah, we'll cheer yeah. and yeah. cheer. <laughs> sure. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Here we go. Oh. oh. All right. One last try. Actually, I'm just going to aim for the computer screen. There you go. Oh, <laughs> done. Success. All right. So you guys are now working on challenge number eight. If you are just joining us, um, we've had eight sports day challenges with six bonus challenges. You can go to Seesaw and complete those challenges. We have one more regular challenge left. And then, yeah, and then we're done for the day. Hopefully you guys are staying hydrated. Hopefully you guys had a snack and a healthy breakfast. Um, we are going to finish this at 12 o'clock noon. So at that time, you guys can go have, oh yeah, you guys can go have your uh, lunch and everything along those lines. The last challenge. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's do that live too. Yeah, yeah we should. <laughs> um, I know Miss Barr's favorite challenge was the last one. It was the bottle flip challenge. And I know I may have said my favorite challenge was the air balloon, but I think I lied. I think challenge number nine is my favorite challenge. Mr. Cool and I, we filmed um, the introduction video for challenge number nine. Do we have to do the airplane in the in the video? Um, for the video, Jaden, you throw the airplane into any bin. Excellent job, Irene. I'm glad that you were able to co complete the last challenge. It was tricky, wasn't it? I tried it here, and yeah, I struggled with it quite a bit. Yes, challenge number nine is my favorite. Um, challenge number nine is uh, something that Mr. Cool and I did together, and it was a lot of fun. It took us the most time, though. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to tell you that. I don't want to give too much away. These are amazing videos. Another bottle flip video. Bottle flipping is very difficult. I had no idea. <laughs> Buju says her room is very messy now. I apologize, Buju, for adding to that mess. Great job, Irene. Ooh, there we go. We got a target for our next challenge. In a couple minutes' time, we are going to have an interview with Miss Kim. Very excited about that as well. But I love watching these videos of you guys complete these challenges. Once again, next week, um, I'm going to send out the... Uh... Oh, excellent job, Jiwon. Once again, I'm going to send out the total video of Sports Day. Just recapping the whole day, I'll send that out next week. What are the Q-tips for? The Q-tips are for your face paint or your ears. Don't put face paint on and then put it in your ears. <laughs> Hi, Leah. <laughs> Hi, Emma. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> so one of the things that I'm worried about is when we get back to school, everyone's going to be doing this bottle flip thing. Yeah. Um, but why don't we leave this bottle flip thing just for sports day? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That'd be nice year anyways. All right, guys, you're doing such an amazing job. I'm going to prepare my notes for our next interview because that's going to be with Miss Kim. While we're doing that, um, do you have any more jokes for us? I do. Ooh. Or maybe some trivia. Okay, trivia. I like trivia. I'll look for some of my own as well. What bird can't move their eyeballs? Hummingbird? An owl. Oh. Ah, is that why the owl right, can move right, the head? Right. Ah, that makes sense. Um, my question, this team scored the most points in a single Super Bowl. Mm. 
49ers. Yeah. I have no idea. I would say in the Steelers. Oh, Steelers? Or. Know. Oh, 49ers. There you go. From back in the day with Jerry Rice and, and Joe Montana. Yep. Yeah, that's a good one. Roger Craig. Yep. All right. Um, okay. Um, you got one for me? When you grow up, how many teeth do you have? When yeah. you're not a hockey player. <laughs> like, oh, 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 like when yeah. you're an adult, when you yeah. play your adult. Oh, I, I should really know this. Um, can I just... <laughs> yeah, uh, one, two, three, one. 28? Close, 32. 32. I feel like that's something I should have known. Who was the first player to ever miss 5,000 free throws in his entire career? Shaq. It's got to be Shaq, right? That guy's probably missed way more than Will, Will Chamberlain. Chamberlain. That guy was probably foul. Well, he could, like, just put his hand out and just drop it in. Yeah. Um. What word do no words in the dictionary rhyme with? Orange? Yep. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Good <Nice>. job. Orange. <laughs> <Huh>. <laughs> do you know Kyrie Irving? Yeah. Do you know what country he was born in? No. Neither do I. Do you want to guess? It's, it's obviously not going to be It's not going to be the, the U.S. Yeah. I'd say Kenya. Ooh. Um, France? I don't know. Mm. That was that was Kobe. Australia. Australia. There you wow. Go. Ben Simmons is Australian too, isn't he? Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, one minute time. We are going to be interviewing Miss Kim. Um, so let's see if she is ready. Uh, I'm not sure if she's ready or not. All right. Until then, we're going to watch some more videos. Okay, this will be the last video. I've been told Miss Kim is ready. So right after Henry's done, we are going to interview Miss Kim. Oh, great job, Henry. Man, these bottle slips are so cool. Yeah. All right, here we go. Miss Kim from ELL. Hi, everyone. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good, good. Um, I got a couple of questions for you. What yes. is your favorite sport? My favorite sport is a baseball. Woo <laughs> um, before I ask you any more questions, I just want to comment on your face paint and your team spirit. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Go fire team. Go fire. Fire team. Good job. <laughs> yeah. All right. So your favorite sport is baseball. Who is yes. your favorite team? Or should we guess? Ooh. Uh, I think you I think probably I know. know it. Okay. Um uh, I could be wrong. I feel like if I friend Tucson, Tucson Bears. Yes. yes. My favorite oh, team uh, is Tucson Bears. <laughs> <laughs> She's ready. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, what kind of sports did you like when you were growing up in school? Um, I really liked the dodgeball. And I also liked running. Even though I was not good at running, I liked it. Oh, nice. Did you ever play in baseball when you were in, in school? No, not at all. You just like cheering. You just like watching. watching. Yes, Do you know how many cheering. minutes of, of actual play do they play in baseball? <laughs> Pardon, I couldn't hear it. Do you know how many minutes uh, of actual um, gameplay is there in baseball? Say, uh, say the, whole... the game is three hours long. Yes. Do you know how long um, the players actually play for? Uh, to be honest, no. I mean, I only know the whole game takes about three to four hours. Yeah. Did you know they only play for 18 minutes of actual Eight? action? Isn't that crazy? <laughs> no. <laughs> what? Okay. No. <laughs> well, now you know. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> okay. Um, what was your least favorite sport you liked in school? Um, I actually have the picture here. I don't know if you all can see it. It's called a long horse. Long horse. 
Oh Korean. yeah, okay. We we've, we've got one of those upstairs. Yeah. Okay, so in Korean it's called dimter. I really did not like it. Oh, I really? absolutely didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like um, jumping. I didn't like that I had to jump over it. And some I mean most of most times I failed it. Uh, <laughs> and it hurt. And so I didn't like it. Hard and you, you persevered through it, correct? Pardon? You kept you kept working hard and you kept fighting hard and you finally you, you worked your way through it, right? Right, right, right. Of course. I try <laughs> I had to try several times, like really, really many times. And then at the end, I finally got it. But after that, I didn't want to try it. <laughs> <laughs> totally understandable. But that reminds me of a lot of the student submissions today. A lot of them are working super hard. They might not get it at first, especially the bottle flip. They, a lot of the students wrote in saying it was challenging, but they're so proud of themselves for completing it and getting it. So amazing job. And thank you for being such a great example. Oh, no problem. And yeah, I saw the they I saw their submissions and their videos and they are doing great job. Aren't they doing amazing? Yeah, I it's update, awesome. I want to get the points while you're here with us. Green team, 195.5 points. Yellow team, 185.5 points. Wow. Blue team, 177 points. Wow. And your team, red team, 166. That is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Do you have any final words of wisdom or anything for uh, those students? Yes. Um, everyone have a great virtual sports day. I mean, this is our first vir first virtual sports day for everyone. So hope, um, have a great time. Also, one more thing. It's not about sports day. Today in Korea, it's teacher's day. So you can say thank you to all the teachers at CDS FP, okay? Well, there you go. <laughs> thank you for that. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Kim, thank you for joining us. Thank you, bye. Bye. All right, um, so this just in, um, we have our first student interview. So we are hopefully going to be able to interview more students. Send your email to Miss Kim at jkim at dalton.kr and she will share the link with you so we can interview more people like that. Remember, we only have one more challenge left. Mm. Um, so I'm hoping that we can interview a few people before that time, all right? Um, while we're waiting for that interview to happen, I'll give you another update on the points. 197.5 for green, 186 for yellow, 177 for blue, 168 for red. Amazing job, my friends. Don't forget that the teachers next week will complete some sort of task based on the amount of the numbers that you guys have done. So um, amazing job. The green team teachers are going to have to do 197.5 of something. So amazing job, green team. The more you do, the more the teachers will do. I love it. All right. We have a meeting here. Is that what's going on? An interview? Uh, nope. We're, we've got another video from Andrew. Andrew is joining us from Russia. This is absolutely amazing that he's also taking part in this. Excellent job, Andrew. So um, the video quality might not be the best, but we're doing everything we can. Um, oh, Leah or Emma says, thank you, <laughs> teachers. All right, here we go, Sinung. Keep it up. You're doing such a great job, guys. Whoa, did you get it? Nice. All right, Tayen, here we go for the blue team. All right, Mr. Cool. In three minutes' time, our last challenge will go out. All right. Are you, 
are you like getting sad? Or are you like, this is almost I done. I know, I can't believe it's gone so fast. But I am really excited for this last challenge. Yeah, this right. one is by far my favorite. <laughs> What would you say it's your favorite? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. We are also going to try and recreate the challenge as uh, after it goes out. We won't do it now. We don't want to spoil anything. Um, but you guys will be done with everything in your sports day package except for your paper. That's all you need for this last challenge is your paper. Okay. Ooh, there are Mr. Reed's oh, um, cool. suggestions for using the cups. Remember, you guys can start on those art projects right now. You can start on those cups. Um, yeah, be creative with them. Find something to do with them. Uh, he's already posted the challenge up there, which is great. My suggestion was to do the, uh, you remember that, those old telephone games they used to do? Mm -hmm. You take one cup, you put a string through it and take the other cup and we could like talk and hear each other. Um, we can hear each other now, <laughs> but you know, if you have a really long string, you can do it from far away. All right, in one minute time, the final challenge will be there. All right. Um, Mr. Hines will be interviewed in 10 minutes time. Very excited for that interview as well. And then at 12 o'clock noon, we are done. That is it. It's going to be so sad, but... Yeah. Yeah. Wow. It's gone so fast. It's I know. so much fun. All right. Let's look All at a couple right. more videos here. Ooh, the airplane challenge. I love it. Whoa. Nice shot. Nice Aiden. shot. Wow. Did you just get both of those in? Dang. That is amazing. I tried to film this challenge to uh to let them know how to do it and it took me way more time than that aiden that's impressive sir all right who do we got here oh someone's saying i'm hungry <laughs> don't worry we are almost finished in 30 minutes our sports day is finished but if you have time after finishing your challenge you can always go grab something to eat and get ready to do your next challenge in a few minutes and challenge nine is now up. Challenge nine is up. That's it. Our final challenge. Can we talk about it now? Uh, I think so. Okay. So challenge nine, you take your paper, probably the one that you use for airplane. What do you do with it, Mr. School? You got to make a paper ball out of it, right? And this is the paper ball trick shot challenge. So... You want to do something fun to try and get the paper bowling. I'm going to try and throw it off this wall. There's no way it's going to work. You're going to try and throw it off this wall and try and get it in the bin. Oh. <laughs> Close. <laughs> okay. I got a new. Yeah, fun new. Okay. Um, How about behind my back? There we go. Oh, close. Oh, oh no. I don't think this wall is going to work. All right. Around, around the back for me. Hey! Nice. Fade away. Oh, nope. <laughs> oh, off the rim. <laughs> Long shot. Oh, get close. Still can't do it. So what are the rules about this one, Mr. G? The rules about this one. Um, we recommend that pre-Ks and Ks are about two feet away when they do their trick shot. We recommend that the grades one and two are uh, four steps away when they do the trick shot. And we recommend that the grade threes and fours are about six steps away. Because it's no fun if a grade four with, you know, really advanced uh, throwing skills are just doing it from right, right in front. So, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Update. Green team has just passed the 200-point threshold. Woo! That is amazing. Well done, green team. Uh, yellow team close behind them with 189. Blue team close behind them with 180. And red team close behind them with 172 points. Well done, my friends. All right, Daddy, I'm showing us the paper airplane challenge here. Well done, Daddy. All right, excellent point, Mr. Sova. So we are... Instead of just throwing out those cups, we are putting them to use some other way. We're going to create something really fun with them, reuse them instead of just throwing them out. All right? So, yeah. 
in eight minutes time, we get to uh, interview Mr. Hines. All right. That's going to be good. And then, okay. Do we, um, do we want to try some more trick shots? Sure. Okay. Um, why don't we put the basket really close to the camera? Let's I don't know. I don't know. Let's flirt with danger there. Okay. okay. All right. Let's, let's keep it where it was. All right. Here you go. Where are you going for? Uh, hook shot. Ooh, I like that one. Oh. I'm going to go for the uh, last second. I'm going to walk across the screen here. Oh, they can't even see me. Right. Uh, okay. I'm going to walk back here. Yeah. I'm going to walk back here. And then, oh, what's this over here? <laughs> oh, that, that didn't go in, did it? No, that's a good, that's a good one though. All right. Oh, oh, that was close. Oh. Um, what's another one I can do? I'm gonna do the elbow shot. Cool. Oh. Perhaps better than my right. Oh no. Maybe can I do a header. Ooh, the header could work. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's a close one. Or the bounce shot. Oh, that's a hard one too. Yeah. Oh. All right, I got this one. Oh, no, I don't. All right, we're looking at more challenges here. You suck, well done, sir. Oh, that one's close. Right, nice bounce shot. Oh, close. still can't do it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> can't do so it. Close. There you go. That's yes. in there. Yeah, go blue. Me use too. My head. All right, we do have some movement on the leaderboard here. Um, the yellow team passes the 190 point threshold. Blue team passed 180 points. Well done, my friends. Red team's making a comeback. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Everybody's doing really, really doing well. Amazing, amazing. One I can't wait to see these. Two hundred two point five for the green team. Wow. All right, in five minutes here, we have an interview with Mr. Hines. Um, until then, we're going to watch some videos. And we're still looking forward to our first interview with a student. We've had a couple students interested, and then we've sent them out emails with the link. But we haven't gotten the response yet. So if you tell us that you're interested, make sure you go back and check your email, because in there, there's going to be a link for how you join. Okay? Once again, we are looking to interview you. Um, you can be here on the live feed. Um, send Miss Kim a message at jkim at dalton.kr daltonschool.kr and um, she will send you a link of how you can join us all right here we go emma nice shooting well done i like those paper airplanes too do you see those ones that i made those are great well, great job emma for the bingo beside you yeah no i'll leave there Oh, nope. yes, that's all right. All right. Do we have any more um, comments on YouTube? Oh. We've been having a lot of friends share their comments and we've been posting them on, or Mr. Bray's been doing an amazing job of posting them on here. Um, hmm. Let's see. Do you guys want to find out the points total? Is that what Leah's asking? Points total, 204.5 for yellow, 190. Oh, sorry, 204.5 for green, 190 for yellow, 184. Six points back for blue and 176 for red. Amazing. All right. Any YouTube comments? Not really. <laughs> okay. All right. How about uh, any more facts? Oh, yeah. Hmm. How many people have ever played the game Monopoly? 
You know, I recently found out that Monopoly is a terrible style of board game. It's really boring. But um, how many people? I'm going to say 2.2 million. 480 million. What? Have played Monopoly. 480 million? Yep. It's a lot of people. But why is it such a bad game? Um, well, so I've, um, any game like what we play in PE, you want it to be as inclusive as possible. And I guess in Monopoly, sometimes like people can go bankrupt and they can be out of the game um, and things like that. And it tends to be just like one winner and all the rest just feel terrible about themselves. It also creates a lot of conflict. Um, so yeah, much like our PE games, we try and keep everyone as involved as possible all the time. Um, so yeah, apparently that's why Monopoly is not a great game. Huh. But a lot, a lot of the newer games apparently have taken this into account. Mm. Um, Monopoly Deal is a card version. Oh, you do? I do. It is really fun. It's fun it's and it's really fast. Fun. It's really fast. Yeah. And it's really fun. I, I didn't really think about that, but it, it really solves a lot of the problems, right? It does. Monopoly Deal. Monopoly. Very fun. It's very fun. And it doesn't go till five o'clock in the morning, which <laughs> yeah. is very nice. I used to play with my grandma. I Nobody ends forever. up flipping tables over. Right. Yeah. Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, well, this is one that you know, but in American football, a touchdown is worth how many points? Seven. Seven. Well, well six. Yeah, six yeah, with yeah, the extra yeah. point, seven. Let's see. It does say six points, so yeah. Six with the extra point, yeah. What do you call it when a player makes back three back-to-back -back strikes in bowling? A turkey. A turkey? I would have said chicken. That's funny. A uh, turkey, you're correct. Um... Hmm. A turducken. A sporting event is held every year on Memorial Day. What is it? Memorial Day. The Indianapolis oh, 500. Yeah. I had no idea. I don't think I've ever actually seen the Indianapolis 500. Have you? Uh, not in person, no. But I have watched it on TV. Mario Andretti. There you go. All right, guys, we are still watching submissions, but any second now, we are going to have an interview with Mr. Hines. I do have one more question for you. Okay, what's that? Uh, how many miles can a pet hamster run in one night on its wheel? <laughs> miles? Yeah, miles. So at least one mile? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. I would have said less than a mile, so I'm going to say three miles. Eight miles on his wheel. Incredible. Hamsters run a long way on their wheel. That is absolutely incredible. Yeah, they also keep me up at night. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is going to be our last video. And then we are going to meet with Frankie. Uh, sorry, with Mr. Hines. Hines. <laughs> oh, I love this video. This is Daniel versus Gia doing the challenge. They're yes. using water bottles. What a creative yes. way to do it. Because they are at a coffee shop. <laughs> that is amazing. They are. <laughs> oh, I love this. Oh, it's great to see him. Great job, Daniel and Gia. Okay. We now have Mr. Hines. Let's see how he's doing. Hello, Mr. Hines. How are you? How are you? Good. Um, yeah. How have you been enjoying this day? It's been fun watching everything from the the back and watching how you guys are performing and watching all the videos that the kids are doing. Um, even though we're not here, it seems like we're all kind of here right now. And that's a great thing. That's a really good point. And thank you for bringing that up. Um, yeah, that's the ultimate point of this day is to just connect us as much as possible. Um, Mr. Hines, when you were in school, did you play any sports? Did you have any favorite sports? I, um, have a favorite sport when I was in school I in seventh or eighth grade I don't remember I started playing tennis and I played tennis all the way through until I graduated high school and I even played some in college nice that's one sport that I know very very little about um would you be able to take just 30 seconds or 20 seconds and teach us a little bit about tennis or explain a little bit about it um let me teach you from my point of view and the reason I started playing tennis um I was born with a disability on my left shoulder. I can't move my left arm very well. So I had to find a sport that wasn't contact heavy, right? So in Texas, guess what the number one sport is, right? It's football. So I had to, I couldn't play that sport because of my, my arm. So I had to find a sport that I enjoyed. And tennis was just one of the best sports for me 
because it kept me lean. It kept me moving. And I was able to even play it with a disability. So that's an amazing story and very inspirational too. Um, everyone will have challenges at some point. And yeah, it's great that you're able to kind of overcome those challenges and, and really find something that you're passionate about. So we all know that um, your favorite sport now is golf. And I agree. It's pretty amazing. <laughs> We've played together many times. Um, why do you like golf so much? I fell in love with golf about five years ago. A friend of mine took me to the course um, to play a real golf course and not just the driving range. And I was smitten with golf after that. It's I like it because I'm getting older and I'm able to play it even with a disability and bad knees. And it's a sport that no matter how old you are or how young you are, you can always play it. And it's one of those sports where you can always just get better and better and better as you go. Amazing. Yeah, I should start playing golf. Yes, you should. <laughs> you should. It is. But the thing about it, as Mr. Hines knows, it's very addicting. Like once you play, Extremely you want to keep addicting. playing. You want to keep playing. It's it's a really great time. Uh, way to I've spend actually, time. in the past week, I've actually hit 800 golf balls. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think I've done that in the past 10 years. <laughs> well, it's Mr. Hines, it's been amazing having you here. Uh, do you have anything to say to the students before um, we say goodbye? Hey, I really miss you guys. Um, it's been great to be able to see you all today. And just remember, no matter who you are or what you do, you are always can play any sport, no matter your ability level, no matter your age, no matter if you have a disability or a handicap. You are great at what you do and keep keeping on. All right. Well, thank you so much, Mr. Hines. Where's the wisdom? I love them. Thank you. Right. Um, this has been my friends. We have an interview with Julian. Julian, how are you doing, sir? I'm very good. Yeah. Hi, Julian. I heard you've been doing an amazing job at submitting your videos. How has sports day been for you? Very good. Yeah. Do you have any favorite challenges? Julian, if you had to pick, of the nine challenges, if you had to pick one favorite, which one would it be? I'm still thinking. Okay. <laughs> Miss Drew says hi. I liked the bonus challenge five. I liked bonus challenge five and just the regular challenge one. Okay. That's um, very interesting. You said that because I made the bonus challenges as like a difficult uh, physical activity. I made the nine regular ones as really fun ones, but I'm, it's amazing to hear that some of the more challenging ones are some of the favorite ones. So I love that. Julian, do you have anything to say to your peers as you guys are finishing up sports day? I don't know. <laughs> do you want to give them any encouragement? Do you want to do any cheers or anything for them? No. No? Okay. Um, can we finish off with something? If I ask you something, can you finish off with this? Can you uh, answer it for me? Yes. Who are we? CDSFP. Who tries their best? CDS. All right. I love it. <laughs> Julian, thank, thank you for you, joining Julian. us today. It's great to see you. Bye. Bye, Julian. That was absolutely amazing. We have a couple minutes left before Mr. Hill's final um, thing. Do we have somebody else? Oh, we got more videos to show. I right. want to see these oh, videos. Oh, Sula. Very cool. Oh, Oh, look at these. Wow. I like the hot air balloon. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Subin. Guys, keep going. Great, great attitude, Subin. Such a great idea. Awesome job, guys. Um, we only have one minute left before Mr. Hill says his, uh, his kind of closing statement. But yeah, before then, I just want to say I've had a whole lot of yeah, fun. Yeah, this How has been you? great.
I apologize if my jokes weren't the best, <laughs> but yeah. Um, I'm happy to hear from you guys. We'll keep this open for a while. So hopefully you guys can comment on this. The YouTube live link will end shortly, but later you can go back and watch any of this. Um, just keep that link. Remember, it's not published, so you cannot go search CDS Sports Day. But what you can do is you can keep this link, click on that link, and you can watch it over again. Now, at the beginning, there's going to be 45 minutes of Mr. T getting ready for everything because we wanted to make sure that the link worked perfectly. Mr. Bray is going to edit that, so hopefully that's not on there. But, yeah. Oh, I love all these challenges. Excellent job. Mr. Cool, do you have anything you want to say to the kids before um, we finish up? It's been a fantastic morning. It's been great to see everybody. Mm. Um, it's it's really, like like uh, Mr. Hines said, it's been great to have the feeling of everybody kind of here. Um, you know, it's it's been quite a while since I've got to see so many different people. Um, and I'd like to say thank you to you, Mr. T, oh. for really doing a great job with all of this because – you have really put in a lot of effort and this has been really a lot of fun. So thank you. Oh, well, thank you for that. Um, it hasn't just been me though. Uh, <laughs> everyone's been working tirelessly on this. Teachers are at home in the room doing this. Mr. Bray's just there. Everybody is working so hard and thank you to you. You helped me make a lot of the videos. You, you sat through the last three hours of my silliness. So thank you. <laughs> it was my that. pleasure. Um, taking a look at the final results. These won't actually be the final results. I want to give you guys time to complete this. Maybe there were some friends that weren't able to join us. Maybe um, some friends were able to complete only half of the challenges. So what I'm going to say is I'm going to keep this open for a while and I will send you the final results in the um, sports day recap video. Currently green team is in the lead with 213.5 points. Currently, yellow team is in second place with 201 points. Currently, the blue team is in third place with 193, and the red team in fourth place with 187. Guys, this is amazing. This is 800 total responses. Yeah. Unbelievable. <laughs> wow. Um, so, yeah, we're going to leave that open. And oh, thank you, Amelia, for saying thank you. Uh, thank you for participating in this. Next week, when I share the recap video with you, you guys will get to see your final numbers. And remember, Mr. Hill mentioned it before, teachers are going to do something because of those numbers. So the teachers for the red team will do something for the total red team numbers, yellow team, yellow team numbers, and so on. All right. Um, that is it. It's 12 o'clock. It is time to have an interview with Mr. Hill. Let's see what he has to say. That is it. It's 12 o'clock. Hello, Mr. Hill. Hello. Hi, Mr. T. Hi, Mr. Cool. Hello. Uh, yeah. So, Mr. Hill, from your perspective, uh, how did today go? Uh, I think it probably really blew people out of the water in terms of their expectations. I think people were, of course, really excited about it. And I think Mr. Baker said the same thing that he was really anticipating what was going to happen, actually happen and go off, that it more than met anyone's expectations. I think it exceeded probably everybody's students, parents, kids, um, or uh, teachers, rather, expectations. And I think it's something that everyone should be really proud about. I think I, uh, you just said you just said it there. And one of the teachers, I think Ms. Drew, said it there, parents. Um, a lot of the kids, some of the kids are doing this independently at home, but we know there are a lot of parents behind the scenes filming these videos, helping the kids inflate the balloons, helping them put on makeup. So a big thank you to all those parents. Yep. Students, I'd say, of course, we're incredibly proud of them for all the effort and excitement that they brought to today. Mr. Cool and Mr. T, you guys were awesome as commentators. I love how... Sharp, you're looking today, and I think uh, it looks really professional and just did a fantastic job with your jokes, your commentating, everything about it made the day go even better. We have tons of people, as I said, everyone basically is working behind the scenes. Um, teachers did a fantastic job with all their roles of looking at all of the submissions that the kids are putting in, which is pretty much the most important part. 
and uploading that information into the system. Mr. Bray is here. He's like a movie director. So he's managing StreamYard, which is the program that we're using to put all this stuff together. So me being here on the screen and, and showing the kids videos and doing all the interviews, all that kind of stuff. Henry's here as well, <laughs> right? Uh, hi, Henry. Hi, Henry. Hi. <laughs> we have a special guest. Henry, how was today for you? Did you have fun, sir? Yes. I Good. Did, did you have a favorite challenge? Yes. Which one was it? That I was drawing a ping pong ball in a cup. Oh, cool. <laughs> Great. Are you proud of yourself and your team? Yes. Nice. Great. Are you proud of yourself and your team? Yes. <laughs> okay. So I think we have um, the YouTube link in your background on loop. Um, Henry, Mr. Hill is just finishing up to say goodbye. But before we do that, can we do a, a repeat thing with you as well? Okay. So I'm going to say... Who are we? CGS. Who drives the best? CGS. All right. <laughs> Excellent job. Thank you for joining us, Henry. Bye. Bye. Bye, Henry. <laughs> we accept all those answers as correct. <laughs> uh, um, sorry, Bill, you no, were... no, no. That's fantastic. I was happy to see him. I was talking about Mr. Bray being like a movie director with uh, behind the scenes, taking the interviews and the, the, the shots and, and the student submissions and putting that all, uh, all together. So we couldn't have done that without him. Miss Kim is here as well. She's the one that's uploading all of the student videos and the student pictures and things. So just a really uh, fantastic team effort, collaboration on Sports Day here to really highlight what an awesome FP community we have. And I think I said it, but a really big thank you to the parents. And Mr. T, you said it as well. A huge thank you to the parents for all the behind the scenes work that they're doing to make all this happen and successful at home. So yeah, just really proud of everyone. And an extra special thank you to you, Mr. T. You had a really tough challenge um, trying to do sports day via computers with students in their homes. And that sounds like almost an impossible challenge. And you met that challenge and came up with a lot of creative ideas about how to achieve this. And it made it for an awesome day for our students. So thank you so much to Mr. T. Well, thank you, Mr. Hill. Um, I think uh, that pretty much wraps everything up. Um, I'm so grateful to our community, to all the teachers and all the parents and especially all the students at home. So I think that's it. So one more happy sports to everyone. And yeah, goodbye. Bye-bye. <laughs>
Thank you, Leah, for waiting for us. Oh, my video sideways. I wish I prepared more jokes. I thought I had enough, but clearly, clearly I did not have enough jokes. Um, I think I've even, yeah. What's that? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I keep forgetting that you can hear me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Amazing job. All right, we are waiting. Just to update you guys, we're going to continue to show videos, continue to show pictures. It sounds like we have one or two more students that would like to be interviewed. So we are going to wait for them. If you want to be on the live stream, we are happy to have you. What did what did baby corn say to mama corn? It's just in for Miss Drews. I need what, an ear. I need an ear. Oh, I don't know. That's a good answer. What did baby corn say to mama? Corn? Where's popcorn? <laughs> Where's pop? <laughs> nice. I love it. Julian's not leaving either. I love it. We are going to cap this at some point. Where's popcorn? Such a great joke. Do you have any other jokes? Uh, jokes, but I have fun facts. Fun facts. Okay. What fruit floats on water? Fruit floats on water. Like that's how it's produced? No, oh. but it can float on water. There's got to be more than just one, no? I, I'm going to say watermelon. Mm, this says apples float on water. I feel like I don't know. I feel like more than just apples would float. No, that'd be a good science test. Yeah, it'd be a good experiment. Which which yeah. which fruits sink? Um. All right. Okay, Owen. If you are watching, we have sent you an email. So please open your email and click the link to join us. Anyone else who's interested in being interviewed? Um, you guys have four minutes left. No. Can you say there's a meeting? There's a meeting. A meeting after lunch. Oh, there is? Yeah. Um, ooh, and Mina as well. So, Mina, we've sent you an email. So, check your email and click on the link to join us for the interview. What do you call a fake noodle? Um, a foodle. A foodle. Fake noodle. Um, I, I don't know. What do you call it? Impasta. Impasta. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. How do pickles enjoy a day out? How do pickles enjoy a day out? How do pickles enjoy a day out? You like out? this on your hot dog? Uh, to catch up? Relish. They relish, they relish it. It. <laughs> <Yay>. <laughs> But <laughs> oh, it's just in. We have an interview. Hello. All Owen. right, it's Owen. Maybe. <laughs> Owen, are you there? Can you hear us? All right, we might have an interview. That's fine. We're, we're still filming, but yeah. we have been filming live for three hours and 55 minutes now. This is the longest live feed I've ever been a part Hello. of. Hello. Hello. How are you doing, sir? Good. Uh, did you have fun today? Um, yes. Nice. What was your favorite part of the day? Um, my favorite part of the day was... Um, 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 um. Actually, all of them. I liked all of them. Oh, that's the best answer, sir. What was your favorite joke of the day? Joke of the day? <laughs> I also liked all of them. Oh, another good answer. Do you have any jokes for us? Um, yes. Okay. I have some. What did the pig... Why did the pig have ink all over its face? 
Why did the pit have pig. ink? Pig. Why pig. did the pig have ink all over its face? Yep. Is it scared an octopus? Um, no. Because something about pig pen? No? Oh, close, close, close. It yeah? Involves it. Oh, sorry, what's the answer? The answer is because because the pig came out of the pen. You get it? Uh, it like an animal live and also like it's like a coloring pen. Nice. <laughs> That's a good one. I got another joke too. Bring it on. Um, there is another one. This is pretty easy because I think everybody heard about this. Heard okay. um what was it again? What the I don't know if it's easy. What did the turtle? What did the turtle? No, oh, I mean, wait, is it a turtle? <laughs> what did the 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 the, the, the I'm sorry. Um, what is the end of the rainbow? What's at the end of a rainbow? Gold. No. Nope. Um. Grass. Um. No. A turtle. <laughs> No. What's at the end of a rainbow? Leprechaun. Um, no. Uh, Rain. People who are watching this, you may type it in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> You're not allowed to steal our live feed. <laughs> <laughs> this is our interview. <laughs> All right, guys, if you're watching it, you may type it in the chat. Um, what's at the end of a rainbow? Um... I don't know. Um, let's see what um, um Julian's correct. It's W. Um actual yeah, Julian's correct. W What's the answer? W, the letter W. Oh. <laughs> oh. And then um not, and another one. <laughs> I got so many quizzes in my head. Sorry, one more time. I have so many like um, like jokes in my head. So. Okay, we we got time for one more. Okay then. Um. Uh, what was it again? Okay. Wait, you don't have to wait too long. What did the snail say right while riding on the turtle's back? What does a snail say while riding on a turtle's back? Something about shells? Something Third about... graders, if you went to recess, you might have heard of it, so please don't say it. <laughs> what does a snail say while riding a turtle's back? Go faster. Um, I don't know. I, I got nothing. What is it? The answer is we... <laughs> yeah, you know how snails like walk slowly, so when they say we, they're like we so long. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why, but people just like that way. Owen, that That's was amazing. Um, we should have had you on the whole time. Yep. Next time, uh, can you wear a suit and can you host this for us? Ooh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but All right, buddy. I actually go to the school to do it, or just go in this meeting. Well, um, to be honest, I don't know if we're actually going to be able to, going to do this again. Hopefully next year we'll have a regular sports day. But if not, I'm going to keep you in mind, okay? Okay. okay. Yeah, but I don't know if I could find my tie. But... <laughs> okay. <laughs> I lost it in the swimming pool. Oh, no. All right. Well, Owen, thank you so much for joining us, sir. Um, do you have any last words you want to say before sports day is finished? Um, whoever is watching this, please subscribe for more videos. If you like this channel, please subscribe to see me. Ta da! Bye, Owen. Bye. <laughs> All right, that was fantastic. Uh, I think we are done. done. Yep. Um, so final numbers for today, but not final forever. Um, 223.5 for the green, green team. 207 for yellow, 198 for blue, 195 for red. Everybody give yourself a big round of applause.
All right, my friends. I think it's time for us to go eat some lunch. Yep. All right. I'm hungry. All right. We're done. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.